Hi, Corey. Lucinda, thank you for the games last night. Oh my gosh, Mom makes sense. Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing today? I know that we are halfway through the week. I hope everyone's having a fantastic time. Hello, Lucinda. Thank you for the thank you for the Monster Hunter Rise games last night. They were really, really fun made some progress. I really need to go hunting some, uh, what were they called again? Narga Cougars. That way I can get my crit chance, uh, charge blades. So that way I can start working on, like, doing more damage, like, going into the master rank. I really want to, I would really love to fight a master rank Narga Cougar. I feel like that would be really fun to do. Also, hello, hello, Corey, how are you doing? You sound a little bit tired. Okay, so you, you already see through me. <laughs> also, hi, Ray, how's it going? Why is the venturing so difficult? Okay, so I am not caught up on Songkai Star Rail because I am planning on doing a stream for you guys for Honkai Star Rail. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna do it soon. So we're gonna go through all the 2.1 content in Honkai Star Rail. Also, if the music is too loud, please let me know. I, I can't lower it because I know it is, it is kind of up like pretty high. But I just started my simulated universe, World 9. And so far, I haven't really gotten too far into it. I didn't finish my run today because I was really busy at work. <laughs> Which I actually had a really, really um, rough morning waking up because like, I tried to wake up really early to go to the gym to work out, but unfortunately someone crashed by my workplace, so I unfortunately did not get to go to the gym this morning. <laughs> As such, I sound pretty tired, which I do apologize about, Corey. I'm really sorry. I, um, <laughs> I just, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling like a little sick, so I, I might cut this one short a little bit tonight. Also, Lucinda, I... Listen, I have thick skin, okay? <laughs> I have pretty thick skin. If you want to be unhinged, that's fine by me. Like, honestly, I'm unhinged all the time in the Discord. I'm sure you see it. It was, like, it was, it was uh, pretty fun. Why am I sitting here cl clicking on close game? What is wrong with me? All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We are going back to Sophia, and today we are doing some uh, main quest uh, adventuring, which I have not done any uh, main quest of the series for quite a while, so I cannot wait to get into this. Also, hello, Ghost Aurora, Aurora, Aurora. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ghost! Thank you so much for the anime recommendation. I have been binging Roroni Kenshin since Monday and I have I have made it so far I'm at the part where I'm I'm way past where they fought Jeanne like when they fought Jean like I was like yo this guy was like hardcore and then but yeah no I I uh I got up to Megumi's arc I want to say I don't really know. I don't really remember their uh, names for everything, but it was the Ono Owani Kabara uh, company. Like they they kidnapped her and then they like ran off. So like I got to, I got around to like that part in Ruroni Kenshin. It was really fun getting to see like the difference in Ruroni's personalities. Like when he's like kind of like joking around versus like when he's uh. There's still a mod that's weird. I forgot to take it away. Um, but don't worry, we're not close to 500 yet, Corey. Um, I will let you know. I, I will have that updated by tomorrow, so don't worry about it. I will I will fix it by tomorrow. <laughs> As an anime Kanana Weeaboo, you get, you got, you love the anime stuff. <laughs> I know, right? It's so good. I, I actually love a lot of the like older school anime that focus on the uh, combat stuff more often. It's really, really super fun. Alright, so we need to go to Hall of Special Gods Garden of Ice and Snow to start. 
I love like those old school stuff. Like I watched uh, Black Samurai. I think I think it's called Samurai Samurai Black Black Samurai. Um, I also watched uh, Samurai Champlo. Uh, I've I've seen quite a few of like some of the older ones, but like I haven't seen like all of them, all of them. So I'm kind of like still kind of like going through a lot of that. All right, let's go to our region selection right here. We gotta go to a certain map. I think it's like chapter eight. We need to go to, let's see, what is it called again? Garden of Ice and Snow, which is, uh, we can move here with Spina, so that's a good sign. How's my day going? So I woke up really, really early and, oh gosh, man, I'm a, I'm a little short of breath right now. Let me get some water. So I woke up really, really early around uh, 5.30 p.m., uh, 5.30 a.m. I went out with the intention of going uh, to the gym. I got to work to grab my headset so I had some tunes to listen to so I could catch up on news and stuff. And I couldn't get into my workplace because I forgot my badge. So I had to like drive all the way back, grab my badge, go all the way back. But by then there was a uh, there was a wreck. And it took me 40 minutes to circumnavigate this wreck. Uh, the levels on Ronin are pretty high, like 80 or 90, possibly 100. Is that how high the player level goes? Can like, can I even get there that fast? Like, I'm planning on doing a five-hour stream tomorrow on Rise of the Ronin. Because I really want to kind of like get into it and enjoy it. Since I haven't been able to play it all week. Because I've been thinking of like video outlines for Murtag. I've been thinking about uh, video outlines for uh, Enshrouded. Also, Met. Hello there. How are you doing? Man, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, why do I feel so tired? Ah. The co op is a good place to farm leveling up. So that's the thing is I'm locked out of the co op. Also, hold on, give me like one second. My sinuses are like really acting up. One second, guys. I do apologize about that. I'm having a bit of a rough day. <laughs> oh, but that's nothing so positive energy cannot fix. But no, I actually can't play on the call because I don't have a membership with PlayStation. <laughs> have I been getting eight hours of sleep? Um, I'm running on about five hours of sleep right now, honestly. <laughs> and I just went through a nine hour work day with a one hour break. But I didn't rest on my break is my problem. I actually went to the gym to make up for my workout. I walked about a quarter mile on the treadmill. So I did that. And so, yeah, no, I'm actually running on, like, literally nothing. Yeah, it's just one of those days. It's just, like, one of those days where it's, like, you know, you kind of have to, like, take it, like, a little slow. <laughs> take it, like, a little chill. It's, like, I'm trying, I'm going to try to, like, just kind of, like, be a little chill tonight. <laughs> But no, it's, um, honestly, my, I think my problem is I sleep too much nowadays. And so, like, when I, when I do, I, I'm not gonna lie, when I, like, wake up early, I actually feel a little bit more like myself sometimes. Versus, like, when I oversleep, but, like, then there's just some days where I have to sleep in. I don't know why, but my energy has been, like, all over the place lately. It has been everywhere. I like. I don't even know. It's like I'm bouncing off the walls, but like in a very like tired way. I don't really get it. It's so, it's so weird. But um, no, I'm I'm actually feeling kind of fine. It's just that I, I ate a lot of tacos today, so I actually learned something about stress today. So around midday, uh, so like I make it no secret I work in like an information technology setting, and I like I work in IT. <laughs> Our company's payment processor went down today everywhere. <laughs> like, nobody could pay with debit, credit, nothing. Like, it was insane. Very messy business that we got into. I'm not gonna lie, it drained my sanity so much because, like, I had to tell people, sorry, I can't help you because we're already working on it. 
and it, and you're just gonna be out of luck for like about an hour while we fix it. And what ended up uh, happening though is our boss to, to thank us, he went out and he got us tacos. My problem though is I did not get to go grab a taco because I was busy helping someone else. So I got like the secondhand tacos. And unfortunately, that meant I I got a very like stringy taco. Uh, it was like a stringy chicken, onion, jalapeno taco. This is literally the worst kind of taco. I like chunk chicken tacos. I like grilled chunk chicken. <laughs> I think that stuff is like way better. And unfortunately, like, I'm not gonna lie, that stuff upset my stomach today, but I ate it without much complaint because I realized I was so stressed out, I just did not really care what I was eating. I was literally, um, I was literally stress eating to the point where I did not even taste the taco. All I knew is food was going in my stomach and I could sit down and relax. <laughs> It's the weirdest way to eat tacos, honestly. It's the weirdest way. It's like basically you just inhale the taco and you're like, you don't even taste it. <laughs> also, hello, Maritol. Welcome. You prefer spaghetti tacos? Dude, I've never had spaghetti tacos. If I ever eat a spaghetti taco, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna like chop up the noodles and cook it with the meat. And so that way there's like more meat on the taco with the spaghetti is like kind of like mixed in. I think I'm sure most of y'all probably had it at some point. Like that type of uh, like that type of taco. Oh, I mean not taco, spaghetti. <laughs> it's raining tacos from the sky. Tacos, no need to ask why. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are we guys about to make it like a taco wrap? Cause like, not gonna lie, I would I would totally sing a taco wrap. Oh, I remember this guy. This is the guy that throws snowballs at me all the time. I don't I don't really enjoy snowballs being thrown at me. <laughs> now you're feeling hungry? Listen, it's not a Bix's stream until I make you feel hungry from talking about food in depth. But speaking of which, I have a uh, specific way that I make meatloaf that, so, like, makes everyone angry. Oh, wait, you haven't had breakfast? Go eat. Oliver, go get breakfast. Go get breakfast now. Now. Go. Go. Go get breakfast. Go get coffee. You need it. <laughs> Honestly, though, it's, it's uh, so, like, I will say, though, the weird thing about the level of stress that we've been having at work it's like, it's like a normal level of work stress, but my co-workers were like banding together. One of my co-workers came over to me and was like, I re- like, yo Bix, you want some, you want some coffee? And I'm like, you want to make me coffee? You, you want to make me coffee? He's like, uh, yeah, sure. You want, you want some coffee, man? I'm like, thank you. <laughs> It's like, no one ever makes the coffee but me, because I'm the only one that drinks it. So, like, to hear someone else be like, yo, can I make you a, t can I make you some coffee? I'm like, you are, you are a beautiful person nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, King Piton, you want to fight, huh? You want to fight? No, no, you are not going to get me. No, <laughs> all right, enchant sword. I'm going to enchant my sword, even though I punch my enemies to death. <laughs> it's a very odd form of fighting, but you know what? I It's what I'm used to at this point. Alright. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't want to get hit by that. <laughs> you guys realize my, my sound effects, for some whatever reason, are just not on right now. <laughs> it's like, this is like so super weird for me. Oh gosh, I'm going to get hit by this, aren't I? I'm so dead. All right, impact union reunion. Was that was that five million damage? Holy heckers! Holy heckers! What was that damage? All right, don't get hit, Bix. Don't get hit. Just punch him. Punch him some more. And I died. 
Man, no, no. I need to see that damage. I need to see what I just hit him with. Because, like, that was insane. All right, let me get in there. King Piton walked so Goss Harag could run. I'm not going to lie. He looks like a Goss Harag from Monster Hunter. <laughs> like, that is that is actually true. He actually looks like a baby Goss Harag with, like, oversized hands. He's like the... Ro the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer of Goss Harags. <laughs> You're on the Midnight difficulty for the past few days and you can get even better gear. Please, it can only take so much. I might just open the game right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I wanna play Rise of the Ronin so bad because I've been wanting to play uh, a katana samurai game on a hard difficulty mode for a while. But he's like, Bix, why don't you just go pick up Dex in a katana in Dark Souls 3? I'm like, I don't hate myself that much, honestly. I don't hate myself that much. <laughs> you thought Magic Warrior is only for one-handed sword? Nah, Magic Warrior is catch these hands in how whatever dimension of combat I want. I will punch you, cut you, Shoot you! I will hit you with the power of magic itself! <laughs> That's what I love about Magic Warrior Maritol. That's what I love about Magic Warrior is just how much freedom you have and how many ways you can kill your foes. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. When they came out with Magic Warrior, I was like, I'm gonna make a Magic Warrior Boga, I'm gonna make a Magic Warrior, uh, like, I'm gonna make, like, every single class into a version of Magic Warrior, <laughs> just so I can do it. Just to say I can do it. <laughs> there it is. I was like, where's my sound effects? Give me my sound effects. I like hearing my MP charge go off. Listen, I, I'm a magic person at heart. I need to hear this lovely maximizer MP charge sound effect or I lose my mind. <laughs> Catch you outside, how about that? I mean, I'm outside. I'm outside, ghost. Bring it on. Bring them hands over here. I, I will throw hands with the King Piton. <laughs> oh, gosh. <clears throat> you came by to say uh, someone you know, Bix. Someone I know, someone I know, someone I know. Brain.exe loading. Do, 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 do. Who? You'll stay a bit more. Ah, oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> also, hello, Theo. How's it going? Yeah, you came in at a wonderful time, Theo. How you been? <laughs> All right, so we are in the dark drag. Oh, Josh, no, it's been strong. This is Fenstern, isn't it? I'm- I'm wrecked. <laughs> this is where I die, isn't it? I am so dead. <laughs> I gotta fight the freaking three-headed dragon. Oh gosh, do I have light element with me? Please tell me I have a light- oh, I don't think I do. I don't have enough knuckles for this. <laughs> Game I to say hi for someone I know because that person, uh... Huh. Can you, uh, can you elaborate some more? Alright, let's continue. Alright, so let's see. We got, a uh, Dark Dragon Strike. That's Dark Dragon Fenstern, I want to say. <laughs> You'll do a Hitten Mitsurugi Yu on you. I said that so bad. I still need to work on my R's. I still need to work on it, like, so much. Alright, let's go this way. You know, honestly, I, I'm not gonna lie, part of me, like, wants to open up the katanas in this. What, you mean a snare? Well, shish. Shish. Oh. Is snare okay? Is snare alright, Maritol? That, that's what I... Is she, is she, is she doing okay? <laughs> but no, I'm actually, like, I want to do, um... I want to do katana at some point in uh in Toran because i heard that katana is really good for soloing and it's also like really good for uh damage and like speed and i really want to like try it out to see like if i can like get better at like Toran and see if that like has like an effect but marital please tell me snare is okay all right let's go up this way it's funny how we have to go, like, go down, deep down into the dark underbelly of the shrine in order to go up and into the, like, open-ended, like, light area. 
And honestly, I've always been like wondering with uh, Torum's like uh create like I wonder like how they do the level design. Cause like I wonder if like the way they build houses is the same way they snap together things in this game. I wonder if they have like any like uh similarities or something. Alright, need to go up here and alright, so it looks like we're going to the top. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what is this? Crystals in a place like this. Save. There seems to be no such feature. And I broke it. I broke the magic crystal. Obviously, it couldn't handle a, the touch of a true crystal wizard. It could not handle it at all. <laughs> Alright, let's get to... Oh my gosh, why are there so many stairs? Who did this? My mortal nemesis stairs. Okay, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know how many stairs anybody around here has like ever been used to walking up and down but if i ever told you i have a preference to stairs like there are stairs i like there are stairs i don't like and honestly i've always wanted to do like a stairs like tier list the stairs i hate the most is like there's like three types of like inclines to stairs there's like up and down then there's like uh, a slight slope that is still like up and down. But I like stairs that naturally progress up to a second floor. You know that uh, Magic Warrior's automatic element where the element- Oh, that's right, I forgot it can do that. I also forgot to check that crit I did earlier. Actually, no, I don't think that was crit. I think that was just damage cap. You saw trying to find the four stances. You just hope one of them got Kenshin style. I mean, I'm sure, I think Kenshin style is one of the martial skills of the, of the, uh, Twin Blades early on in the game. Is what I want to say. But yeah, no, I remember now, it's like, um, Magic Warrior automatically adjusts to, like, the weakness element of your target. But I also know that there's a few skills I've left out of my combos that I feel like I should be using. What's up, Dunkellis? How's it going? <laughs> also, welcome back, Cory. How you doing? <laughs> I've been commanded by Dunkellis to protect the people. There's no way I'd let you go to such a dangerous place. Go back to your human world. Twin Blades is only for Katana. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ghost. I have failed you. Need to go to Elden Bomb to get rid of the evil that the beings there. You cannot turn back now. Wanna fight? Okay, but I want to go easy on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go, Finster, and you and me solo. Let's go, and Palulu, of course. Hey, listen, there is no teammate I'd rather have on my side than than Palulu, honestly. All right, I'm going for the element slashes. No, I actually know it's Enchant Sword. My bad. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm doing like 100k! Holy smokes! Alright, don't get in the- Don't get hit, Mix! 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 Move! Mix, please! Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and refresh Osra Aura real quick. Alright, Enchanted Burst! Going into Dual Bringer Conversion, Impact, and Reunion! To a one shot, let's go! That was just beautiful. Honestly, I wonder if I could handle the higher difficulties. I wonder. You emit the scent of darkness. I see you have come in contact with the power of darkness in the past. The last time I fought Finstern, he threw me against the wall and I had to call backup. <laughs> I, like, I actually had to call backup the last time I fought this guy. Like, he, he curb stopped me so hard, I went crying for Pew to carry me. <laughs> Alright, I want to check out that damage, though. Let's check out the damage. I want to check out my battle log real quick. Let's see, let's see how much we were able to do there. <laughs> Do you want the, Ken the code for Kenshin's face for Ronin? Nah, honestly, I'm a little attached to the characters I've already made, but I will take it in case I do in our playthrough on my own time, of course. Also, hello, Solon. How's it going, Snack? I snack the snack. 
I snacked his neck. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I got a level up off that? Let's go. Alright, battle log. How much damage did I do? Let's see. Union Sword 309. Union Sword 134. So that's about... The 100... 450? 996,000 with Reunion? 397 Reunion? So I did almost, in total, 2... 2 million damage to Finstern. With just... Union and Reunion, and they hit twice on each. I did 370 on Enchanted Burst, which is amazing. Um, along with a combined total of like 340,000 with Enchant Sword stacks. When is the 5 hour stream again? Tomorrow. And it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I want to do one more round against Finstern. I want to do the victory lap. Ah, okay. Alright. I got you. I got you, Maritol. I got you. Alright, let's go over here. Finster time. Alright, let's, um... Let's leave it at that, Maritol. For now. And... Let's just leave it at that for now. Okay? Don't worry, I'm not pushing the issue to the side. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Wait, hold on. Should I do this with a mercenary? I feel like I'm going to get absolutely slapped if I do not use a mercenary real quick. <laughs> hold on, wait, nope, that's not- wait, where's my party? Party. Also, hello, Cyber, how's it going? Your name, your name pronounced is Marshall. Sorry, my bad. It's, uh, so I'm nearsighted. I don't know if I've ever told chat this, but I am nearsighted. Like, really bad nearsighted. I literally have to squint sometimes to read things. And because of it, I have a really hard time, um, reading things properly. So I thought your name was Marital instead of Marshall. I'm so sorry, man. I promise you, I can speak English natively. <laughs> Loud snoring on Discord? What snoring? I don't remember any snoring. I mean, unless you just fell asleep in one of the channels, which I'm prone to doing that as well. Like, I don't know why, but like, why is it that just sitting in a Discord channel by yourself is so comfortable? Why? Why is that comfy? Why does that make me feel like I could go to sleep? It's, it's unnatural. It's unnatural. Life shies. My goodness, wait, is the level cap 280? Ah, oh, man, when did I fall asleep? <laughs> you know what, let's see. You know what, for old time's sake, for old time's sake, I'm gonna use this mercenary. I ain't used this mercenary in a while. And then, obviously, I'm pulling out the big guns. We don't need a tank when we have overwhelming offense, baby. Let's go. And I don't have enough level for that. That is sad. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you also fall asleep for one of the voice channels? I, I'm not going to lie. It's an automatic turnoff for me if someone has a, vo has a voice channel with an automatic timeout. Because I just want to sleep in the voice channel. I don't want to be moved. I just want to fall asleep. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, honestly. Is that 50k? 100k? Oh my gosh, I am bullying Finstern right now. Holy crap. <laughs> we are actually bullying this dragon. Oh my goodness. I, I'm going to I'm going to volley -wop him in a second. Oh, please, him, I got Reunion off. Let's go! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, gosh. That was just amazing. Holy crap. I've never managed to bully Finstern in my life. Oh, my goodness. You don't even remember why you slept or how you did? I'm telling you. 
I'm telling you, it's not even, it's not, it's not anything against you. It's simply because it's a Discord channel. Like, I'm gonna say it, I swear, I, I, I'm gonna say it. I have fallen asleep in some weird places. I don't know why, but as a kid, I had like this weird, I had this weird habit when I was a kid that I would crawl underneath my kitchen table and I would literally just sleep there for like three hours with a pillow. Oh gosh. You may need to interrupt Finster to make your damage to crit when he's at 40% HP. Let me see, did I? I don't think I crit, did I? I don't think I did. Because I'm not running crit food right now, I'm only running MP. Am I a cat? Meow. Meow. <laughs> I'm never meowing again. No, we're not doing that. Oh, man. Let's see. What is this? Inflicted. Weaken on Fencer and the Dark Dragon. Critical chance is added to magic attack for target that is weak to it. Also slightly larger magic defense for non-boss target. So, I mean, I did something. I also hit a million damage on Reunion. Yeah, I did 1,022,000 with, with, with Reunion. And then 387 with Reunion. So that was like a uh, 2.3k. I'm willing to bet I could push 3 million if I was running crit food. You know why you crit because crit damage will be yellow while none was crit white. Well, none is uh, crit white. So like, so all of these are crits basically. Basically, I am critting here. Also, I need to look and see if I have any stats to build up. I only have six stat points to allocate. Which is, begs the question, strength or agility? Do I go strength or agility here? Hmm, interesting. No, your union and reunion didn't crit, but it's yellow, isn't it? Let's see. You'll know if you crit because crit damage will be yellow while non-crit is white. This is yellow, though. Unless I'm colorblind. If I'm colorblind, then maybe. <laughs> I want to try that again. On mid damage, not on chat. On mid damage. Oh, like damage, like on the screen. Okay. I want to try this again. I'm honestly not running a lot of skills on this character, so um, we'll see how I do. All right, shell break, enchant sword. Enchant sword again. Followed up by the third enchant sword. Whatever shall he do? <laughs> Gotta keep Finstern on his toes. All right, first. Which we got the weaken off. Wait, I don't have MP? How? Sheesh. I'm colorblind because of my red and blue eyes. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. And you know what's funny is my dad is actually colorblind, but I'm not colorblind. And also, I'm gonna be honest, I really suck at looking at this screen and kind of keeping track of everything. So I typically only keep track of the fact of like what I'm pressing. Did I see the difference? I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. I I was so focused on just pressing my buttons. I messed up. <laughs> oh man. So I am colorblind? No, I'm just, I just have really bad ADHD. All right, let's do this. I gotta keep my eye on the boss. Eye on the boss. All right, yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm having the time of my life here real quick. Alright, I'm gonna die from my combo, but okay, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, Farzan! Aww, man! It did crit! Aww, man! What's actually ADHD? ADHD is a lot of things, honestly. I'm gonna be honest. 
I have a lot of problems, but I've never paid attention to them and I've never let them define who I am. But I do love bringing them up sometimes because I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, this is how Snare feels teaching me. You have no idea. You have no idea, Marshall. And I just, I want you to know, I do, I respect Snare a lot. Just not when she's insulting my belly. <laughs> Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. I'm not gonna lie, this entire stream I've been kicking my legs underneath my desk and I've been literally seeing how hard I could just slam my heel into the floor. <laughs> like, that's what I've been doing this whole time. It's either that or my left knee is like bopping up and down like really, really fast. And I'm like, and also, you can kind of tell, like, just, like, from how I speak. Like, man, I, I can get distracted pretty, 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 uh, pretty easily. Belly bros, yeah! Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I have the belliest belly you've ever seen. I, I'm pretty sure my belly's lucky. <laughs> like, honestly, I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get rid of it. But, like, right now, I'm, like, working out with the, uh, with the iron. And I'm actually like lifting weights every day and my arms shrunk my chubby stubby little short arms My 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 uh, my short stubby little t-rex arms. They shrunk There's not as much fat on them anymore because I burned it off I can do sit-ups for it man. We'd be here all day if I started doing that I would literally be here all day long if we just started doing like sit-ups on desks in this game <laughs> what happens if we give you a shot of caffeine? Um, caffeine is my medicine. Sugar in coffee will get me running up the walls. But if you give me caffeine, I might as well as go lay down and take a nap. Each death I sit up. You know, that, that sounds like a great, great idea. Oh gosh, don't die, Bix. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. I got an empty charge real quick. Also, hello, Lynette. How are you doing? Oh, I almost had to do some setups just now. <laughs> Let's go, Finale. Oh, man, I love Finale. Oh, man, I love Finale as a spell. Finale is such a good spell. Also, Marshall, I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten sick from doing workouts uh, last week because last week we were doing Dark Souls and I died a consecutive number of like 44 times across like seven hours. And I did so many sit ups, push ups, jumping jacks, sit uh, crunches, like I did so many of them. I, I got so sick the next day. It was crazy. Also, I have incredible push-up form. I have incredible push-up form. You were told that I was sick. I, the, the uh, news of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> yes, I am sick. But, like, I'm fine, Lynette. But thank you for asking. I'm doing fine. I mean that's a side effect of exercising. See, here's the thing: you shouldn't get sick when you when you work out. If you are getting sick when you work out, you need to take a break. Am I ripped right now? Here, I'll show you all my progress. I don't mind. I I will literally show you guys my progress. So like, you can kind of like look at my arm here. Like, it's a little bit like I don't know. It's a, it's hard to explain, but like, let me kind of like show like. closer towards my elbow it kind of like smooths in because my arm right here which I've been working out the most this is like all the fat is gone so there's not as much as over here so I'm actually I'm actually getting stronger and so I can kind of go from doing about 80 to 90 pounds I'm getting closer back to my original hundred pounds is my hair still intact? 
Um, so here's the thing. So up until about, about one week ago, my hair was longer than my models. Like look at my hair here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you see this? My hair is longer than this. That is insane. So I went to go get my hair cut and honestly I uh, I made a mistake and I told my barber, I was like, hey, I want one and a half inches cut off. I don't know how to gauge one and a half inches. I was just like do about one and a half inches he's like look at me like you serious bro like you, you serious and i'm like yeah 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 like what's the worst thing to go wrong now my hair is like super duper short but the best part about it is i can i i i can sleep now i literally have so much hair it is hard to sleep it is really hard to sleep when you have a lot of hair because like you gotta like in order to ventilate your neck and so you're not so hot and you're not having like a hot flash in your sleep. You have to like pull the back of your hair up and drape it across your pillow. And heaven forbid your pillow is hot. I have to have a cold pillow. I like make my bed before I go to sleep. So my pillow is on top of everything. So it gets colder. And so that way, as it's getting colder, it, it's so much more relaxing. Am I more aerodynamic? I am so much more aerodynamic now, but honestly, with my big ma, I can literally drum on this. That's so bad. <laughs> I hate that I can hear that. No, no, that's so bad. No, guys, no, please. That's, that's, that's embarrassing. That's so bad. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. No, just no. I refuse this. No, I'm, I'm losing the belly. I'm doing sit-ups tomorrow. I am exclusively doing sit-ups. That's what I'm up. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, no, you can hear it. Oh, gosh. You can actually hear that. Oh, gosh. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die here. No, I'm not because I'm better than Finstern. Finstern is nothing before me. Cower, Finstern. Ow. <laughs> oh man, does this mean I have to do sit-ups now? Oh god. Every punch will just bounce off. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. My, so like my mother is a teacher and I'm like a local celebrity to her kids because she talks about me a lot. So, I will be in public, I will have kids run up to me, be like, Oh my gosh, you're, you're so-and-so's son? Oh my gosh, you're so cool? And I'm literally not joking, but one time I got invited to a birthday party. And my mother was tagging along, so I was like, eh, sure, free cake, free ice cream. I go there, they're like having like a, like a water fight with like water balloons. They throw a water balloon square at my stomach and it just goes bling and it just rebounds it like a cartoon character. Repelling a bullet. I felt like Luffy Gear 4 in that instant, honestly. <laughs> oh my gosh, why did I hit Enchanted first? And I'm going to die again. Fencer, please just die, thank you. <laughs> You're gonna torture us along with the sit-ups. No, you guys are torturing me with the sit-ups. It's not the other way around, okay? <laughs> also, I actually don't have anywhere to do uh, sit-ups. Drum roll, please. Wait, hold on. Can I, can I actually do a drum roll? Hold on. Kinda. I can kinda do a drum roll. And also, I definitely dabbed at for that, by the way. So, there's an extra level of cringe for you to feel from hearing that so um deal with it as you will <laughs> oh my gosh cory came back he's like what is that noise i'm like uh, 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 it's uh it's definitely not me smacking my stomach live on stream nope definitely not me bearing my belly for the world to see <laughs> oh my <laughs> guys so bad Plus cringe in a good way. I love cringe in a good way. I, I, cringe heals the soul. Like, let's be honest. Come on. Cringe heals the soul. 
I almost died right there. Oh gosh, I might actually die! <laughs> I dodged the last frame as the animation was about to play. What level of BS am I on right now? Oh my goodness. Boy, I am on something right now. Holy smokes. Bury the cringe deep within. <laughs> no, gosh, I'm not gonna lie, I work out to that. I literally work out to Bibu's cover of Bury the Light, and I listen to Bury the Cringe, and my dad heard the headset, like, beat going, like, insane, because I cranked it all the way up. He's like, huh, what you, what you listening to, son? Are you winning? And I'm like, I'm like, first off, stop it with the, are you winning, son? Stop that. Stop that right now. And what, what, um, I, he, he, he was like, hey, can I, can I listen to like what you're listening to? So I immediately swapped off uh, Barry the Cringe. I was like, oh, no, nah, he's not listening to Barry the Cringe. He's listening to the good stuff. And so I told him, I'm like, yeah, this is, like, wrote by, like, Casey Edwards and, like, this other guy. And I got him listening to Bury the Light. And my dad actually approved of it. I was so proud. I was like, hey, yo, did my dad just actually approve my music? Because, like, I'm not going to lie. I'm a super big weeb who, like, I literally just listen to, like, anime OSTs in my car. <laughs> Like, while I'm, like, riding around. And, honestly, I, like, normally he kind of judges me a little bit, but, like, he doesn't, like, make me feel bad or anything. So, yeah, he actually is a bit of a Chad dad. I mean, like, my, like, my dad has, like, has, like, his own stuff that he likes. And he, like, he, like, my dad's the kind of person that, like, respects what you're into, but, like, he obviously doesn't care. But he literally got done. He listened to all nine minutes of it. I tried taking the headset away from him halfway through the song. He would not let me. He was like, no, I'm listening to this. And so I, I, he uh, listened to it the whole way through. When he got done, took the headset off, gave it back to me, and then said, that's going on my playlist. I was like, <laughs> I was like holy crap. Holy crap. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, Marshall, you're just hearing it as, oh no, not, not the plap plap, not the plap plaps. <laughs> F that listen to chippy chippy chappa chappa dooby dooby mama dabba dabba magic corner dooby dooby boom 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 boom. That song lives rent free in my head. So like, like literally, like I love chippy chippy. So like, I didn't understand the whole chippy chippy chapa chapa meme until like I learned to like actually sing it. So I kept listening to it over and over, and I eventually got it down. It's like chippy chippy chapa chapa dooby dooby daba daba magic kind of dooby dooby boom 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 boom. I love it. I love it so much. It's so much fun to listen to. So much fun to say. Like actually. <clears throat> Not that song? No, not that song. Man, imagine if I actually like stayed up tonight and remixed it and like turned into a thing and set it and like fed it through like a soundboard or something and like the next morning it's just that's the that's the new video. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think it was just a vibe. I love brain rot vibes. I I, I don't know how many people here listen to Senzala. Or should I say Gargura? But I listen to two of her things on repeat. Ooh, is get it? I listen to that uh, little banshee scream thing for like on the eight minute loop track. And then I've literally listened to a 10 hour version of Okie Dokie Boomer. <laughs> Okie Dokie. Like, yes, you know exactly what I'm talking about, Old Bear. I have listened to the entirety of Doki Doki, uh, Okie Doki Boomer on a one hour to 10 hour track. Gargura who? Uh, most, the, she is the top English VTuber in the market. That works for Hololive. But her past life is that she used to be one of the biggest internet shit posters in history. 
with like, I think she had like 2 million subs at one time. She did twice. She did 1 million once, 2 million uh, on her second channel. Oro. 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 <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I'm, I'm going into like the deep history. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I only like recently listened, uh, found out about Senzala when I discovered Gura, and then I realized Senzala wasn't personality anymore. I was like, no. I need my cringe. I need it to help me through my day. <laughs> but no, like, she has a lot of good stuff on the archive channels that, like, preserved her stuff. Like, some of the, like, some of her, like, little songs that she, like, made are, like, really super duper cringe. But, like, they're so funny. Like, there's an entire song just dedicated to cows. Literally just dedicated to cows. Like, oh my gosh. I wish, I literally wish I could, like, listen to it on stream because I, like, I wish I could. But, like, I'm pretty sure I get copyrighted or something. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's fair game now that she's not, like, uploading anymore. Maybe it's, like, uh, maybe it, because it's, like, on the archive channels and stuff. Maybe. I don't know. You want to say that to someone when they surprise you or something? Oro. Okay, so one time. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to make you feel better, Ghost. But so, like, I used to work with some people that were into anime. And, like, I was starting to try to pick up some Japanese here and there. I was so tired walking into work at 6 a.m. that when, when my assistant manager turned around and said hello to me good morning i literally responded with ohio and she she was like big eyed she's like stop that it's too early wake up i'm like huh huh what did i say huh 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 <laughs> like i i unknowingly just said ohio because i lost it so when because i was spacing out for being so tired i'm like i'm like why like why like, oh my gosh, it's so bad. <laughs> oh man, oh man, gosh. Uh, I, I admit, I, I'm not, I, I low key miss all my coworkers. And may we kicks him in the side. Oh my gosh, this gets the tsundere yeeting treatment from at the beginning of like every episode one of Slice of Life. And her weave comes out. See, now I can actually just kind of like, just casually speak it to people. Just be like, Konnichiwa, Genki desu ka. It's like, Ohio, konbawa. Like, I'm learning a lot of my basic phrases again. I'm learning a lot of my basic phrases. Uh, tomorrow, I'm hoping that if I can get my video stuff out of the way, I can practice my handwriting again. Wait, do I have my handwriting? Hold on. I have it up here. So, like, I have some practice writing here. Like, this is, like, what I'm kind of, like, working on. It's, like, I'm working on, like, my hiragana and stuff. And it's, like, I've been working... I, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how to hold my pen for a while. So, like, because I don't write very often, so sometimes I forget how my pen works. And... What I, uh... What I actually found out is that even though, like, I can't hold a pen properly, I can still write characters like pretty good like my handwriting isn't like as affected like it's not as bad all right what is was zero street to get to tall boss grassland where is that at where is tall boss at tall boss have i been to tall boss before i think i have oh so hi coffee hi you try to learn Japanese, you only know the basics and the amount of Japanese sometimes you heard and you didn't learn shit. Alright. Tell you what then. Hold on. I need to do something for Ghost. Hold on. Let me find it. Let me, let me find it real quick. Alright, hold on. I can't. Let me delete this real quick. That way y'all don't like see my name and stuff, but I want to show you guys something. If you want to learn Japanese and you want an actual like uh, college level learning experience, also have a good night, Marshall. Thank you for coming by and also tell her I said I hope that she's doing better, okay? Alright, 
So hold on, I'm gonna show you a little a little thing, uh, Ghost. Go to this site, JapanesePod101.com. If you like, if you actually like want to get serious about learning Japanese, and I mean actually serious, I would, I would, I would go to this site right here because like what's very interesting about this site is they teach a wide variety of languages, but. The Japanese Pod 101 is specifically run by teachers. <laughs> it's run by teachers, uh, tutors, as well as a bunch of other content creators. So if you actually want to get serious about it, like they offer like like uh, be like beginner level lessons. Like you can either take lessons because you want to be a tourist. You can take lessons because you want to learn how to write. You can take lessons to learn like how to like. Uh, speak and stuff or like it's really good. i wish i could sign in and show you but i would i would literally be showing you my name if i did so but um uh the things that i always pick up on first is i learned how to write some basic hiragana like that's how like this is how i've started my journey i start learning basic hiragana i go into learning like how to count learning how to count in japanese literally takes you 10 to 30 minutes one, like, literally 30 minutes out of your day, you can learn how to count as high as you want with any number in Japanese. Very easy. Thing is, is you don't want to sound cringe. There is nothing cringe about learning a second language. There's literally, there's literally nothing to, uh, there's literally nothing cringe about that. You legit had to see if you had your OSRS client on. <laughs> it's like, uh huh. Coffee, coffee sprung that fell for the trap I laid for him. <laughs> uh, like, how do you know it wasn't a trap for you, coffee? <laughs> oh, I'm terrible. I'm so bad. Where is. Wait, am I in chapter 9 already? Hold on. Am I chapter 9? Holy crap, I'm actually chapter 9. Holy smokes. But yes, no, it's on my end. It is on my end. Like, copy. this is what you're listening to, is this right here. This is what you're listening to. <laughs> like, this is... <laughs> I was like, you know what? I want to listen to, like, RuneScape music today. as like, my background music, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I need to go north. We need to go north. <laughs> Um, also, I've been, like, I've actually been getting into, like, playing Torem more, like, offline, and I've actually been making a lot of progress in, like, earning Spina. I had, like, 19,700,000 Spina at one point, and now I'm up to 21 million. Listening to classic bangers on the Dirty Dog. Oh! <laughs> Don't ever let me do that again. Shoot me on site if I ever owl again, please. Also, welcome back, Cyber. What you eating there, buddy? You got them tacos? Did you bring me, uh, did you, did, are you ready to pay the Bix's tax? The Bix tax? The Bax? <laughs> you know, it's a part of learning, but when you speak to other people, Japanese or whatever, you try to speak their language, and even though you know it, you're saying like a noob. Um, two ways to go about this. There's two ways of going about this, Ghost. I got, well, technically, I have three, I have three ways to help you with this. One, you speak to a, you speak to an actual educator, like a tutor. Two, go on an app that allows you to speak to people internationally. Um, there, there are, there's an app on the app store that allows you to basically go into a chat room. And the, and the sole purpose of this app is to get you with other people that speak a different language. And it also has a translator. So and you can you can you can either call it a text, so it's a, it's like Omegle, or three, just try to em, just try to emulate the accent. It like like if you try to emulate the accent, it can actually help with the pronunciation. Like trust me, it's it's not as cringe as you think. It sounds cringe because in uh, like in certain places where you may live. Other languages may be more, uh, may be more common than other places. So it's like, it feels cringe when you're speaking a language that isn't like a common practice for like where you live. 
The flame is stuck in your head. Ifrit, come to me! Okay, all right there. All right, settle down, you little chinibia in the background. <laughs> uh, it's not crazy you may feel awkward because you just started. Yes. Once you, once you like, start practicing, trust, like, I promise you, it, it'll go right out the window. Although, I'm not gonna lie, I still have butterflies in my stomach when I speak to my tutors. Cause like, I, I feel like I'm being judged sometimes, but like, I have to, I have to learn to get over it. Like, I, 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 like, I had to learn to get over, um, a lot of things when I started learning. Like, I had to realize I had to speak out loud. I needed to practice commonly out in the open. I need to, I need to learn, like, how to write. I'm gonna be honest. If you want people to not judge you for, like, learning a language, write. Learn to write the language. It shows a level of seriousness to them that makes them back off and... Sometimes people respect you for it because they see that you're making a very large effort. So, like, I typically uh, practice my hiragana while I'm learning to speak it because it causes people to realize, oh shit, he's serious. You know? <laughs> you kind of learn from K drama. I love K dramas so much. K dramas are like crack cocaine for my brain. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. Best song in the track. Port Sarah. Let's go. <laughs> oh. oh man. Say so it pretty much happens when you got fluent enough in English. Yeah. And I always I always tell people that are like trying to learn English. I, I never I never say anything about anything. It's like I, I honestly, I speak to other people that, like, if, if their first language isn't, like, English, honestly, I swear, don't, you guys speak English so well. And I'm over here just, like, I can't even formulate, form, form a coherent sentence without thinking about it for more than five seconds. Kind of sounds like carnival music. It sounds like that carnival music that plays on those old CD-ROM games of, like, Franklin the Turtle. And you know what? I like that. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I don't know if anyone's ever, like, played old CD-ROM games, but some of them had absolute banger audio. Like, I don't know what it was. But some of those old, like, CD-ROM floppy disk games, like, were the best. What in the Mario game song is this? Uh, let me look at the song. This is called Sea Shanty 2. Here's the OG. So that one's Sea Shanty 2, this is the OG Sea Shanty. Oh my gosh, Mud Skipper is up next? Oh heck yeah. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> Franklin the Turtle, you haven't heard that in a long time? I used to own a Franklin the Turtle uh, floppy disk game uh, out on my school computer when I was a kid. One of the best perks of having a mother who teaches uh, uh, English class is the fact she has access to a computer with games that let you like learn words and stuff. So I was set as a kid. I I had cool games to play whenever I was stuck in her classroom after school. And honestly, like the computer get like the computer was like my life in early days. It was great. When the Mario Party hell am I listening to? This is RuneScape soundtracks. The the best soundtracks you'll ever listen to in your life. Soundtracks that were cultivated with such love and care, no one, nothing else comes close. Where in the Mario Kart is that? Like, um, are you talking about Franklin the Turtle? Or are you, are you talking about the floppy disk, Franklin the Turtle, or RuneScape? Because RuneScape is a really classic MMO. Like, if you've never played like a really old MMO, play RuneScape. You can get it on your phone. You can get it on your laptop. You can play it in browser. There's so many ways to play RuneScape. It's insane. You can download the client. You can get RuneLite uh, as a as a plugin. It's like it's absolutely insane. <laughs> but RuneScape is a so I agree with what someone said about RuneScape. I was watching a review of RuneScape from a new player's perspective who played it for uh, about a thousand hours. He and I agree that he says that. RuneScape is no longer an MMO because of its age, 
and RuneScape is more of a single-player idle RPG. And you know what? I think that's fine. You couldn't afford WoW or Wizard 101 like them rich kids. I tried Wizard 101. I quit so fast. I could never figure out how to play it. It was so good. I just wanted to make a freaking fire wizard. Have I heard of Grawl Online Error? I think that sounds familiar because, but there were a lot of MMOs back then on the app stores and stuff. So I probably heard of it, but I probably never played it. I, I heard about World of Warcraft, but I, um, I, I always wanted, I always liked RuneScape. I didn't like other MMOs because other MMOs cost money, money my family didn't have. And you know what? That's fine. I could occasionally afford a membership pass, but honestly, I enjoyed RuneScape because it was such a excellent social, ex uh, social, um, MMO. And you can just, like, do so many things with everybody. Even though it's, like, more of, like, a single-player experience. I need one more enchant sword. How did I die? What just killed me? Camelot? Is this Camelot? Let's see. This is high seas. I'm sorry, Coffee. This one's high seas, not Camelot. I'm sorry. You played RuneScape 2 on a potato? I think RuneScape can be run on anything, honestly. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you can actually run RuneScape on almost anything on low graphics. Ronin has five and a half stars, Dragon Dogma has four. Because Dragon's Dogma put in a really BS uh, microtransaction that's associated with their form of fast travel and it made everybody angry. Everybody was angry at them for that. Because in Dragon's Dogma 2, you don't just get free fast travel. You have to find a special rock that acts as an anchor, and then you need a teleport point. I think I'm remembering this properly. I could be wrong. I think the most you could do is possibly warp between two cities. Actually, no, you couldn't, do, you couldn't even do that. So they basically put in a microtransaction version of this into Dragon's Dogma 2, I think. Don't quote me. Like I said, I've not looked at this. I heard about the microtransactions. I was like, you know what? I don't want to play this. And, I, like, and I'm going to stand by it because I also can't make small characters in the character creator, which is like the best thing to do because you can catapult them around and you can also fit into like really tiny spaces you're not supposed to be in. I love it. And I also like to see how comedically short I can make my character. But no, you can't do that. It's capped out at like 160 centimeters or something. I did my return to Wizard 101. You're, ma you're a major noob at the moment. Listen, we can both be noobs together, Coffee. Think about it. We can both be noobs together. Also, I did not earn that level up. I did not earn that. I need to earn that. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do a walk of shame. So it's a little bit of a step back from Dogma 1. I think there's more things to do and more interactivity with the environment and stuff in Dragon's Dogma 2, which I think is an upgrade. But I also think they changed up the classes a little bit. And honestly, it just doesn't look like a for me type of game. Like, honestly. And I think that's okay, because... I think people need to realize that you're probably not always going to want to play the game that's always out. Like, it's like, like, you don't have to play everything on the market. You don't. I am going to die. I am going to die a terrible death in this game. Because you know you missed out a lot as a kid. I missed out a lot, but I, I got over it. Like, honestly. I I messed up my maximizer. I'm dead. I'm dead. Like, Coffee, you're speaking to the person whose only console until he was in high school is a PS2. I had a PS2 and a home desktop computer. I was very limited as a kid. But you know what? That's fine. Because I, there's, there's no reason for me to be a privileged kid. 
There was no reason. Life was simpler. There was no reason to have so many things. Like, you could go outside, make friends, play around, splish and splash, go out on actual adventures, and now I am glued eternally to my PC. I am a slave. I am a slave, guys. I am, a, I am glued to this PC. <laughs> We're Sleeping Dogs too. I picked up Sleeping Dogs as a free Xbox game one time, and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't understand how to play it. I really didn't. Also, hello, Crawl. How are you doing today? Also, Crawl, I do not die as often. Here goes PlayStation, like, yeah, we don't need your money this month. I'm gonna be honest, PlayStation games for me are hit or miss. I almost passed on Ronin. I w well, see, here's my plan. I was originally going to pass Ronin until Ghost told me about it. Because, and here's why. I played Ghost of Tsushima 2. And I love Ghost of Tsushima 2. Problem I have with Ghost of Tsushima 2. I, I did not like lethality mode. I did not like lethality. Like, Lethality, I'm pretty sure was the highest difficulty you could set the game to. I did not enjoy it because once I had an armor set, I was unkillable. Like, literally, like, your your stats can carry you through that game so hard. Like, like honestly, like, once you're leveled, you're kind of almost unkillable until you find something that's on your level. Honestly. Kind of. Sometimes. Every once in a while, I, I scratch that itch, and then I'd go a few hours without scratching my itch. Because, like, I like to be challenged. Midnight definitely tests your skills, and this is why I like Ronin. Because I put it on the hardest difficulty, and I got exactly that. A swift kick to my nuts that reminds me... The game is, uh, is actually hard. <laughs> and so it's like... When I, when I, uh, I almost fell out of gaming at one point. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I have a little bit of a story here. When I was, uh, when I was working retail, I fell out of gaming, like, really bad. I was kind of, I used to play shooters a lot. I used to get a little competitive. I used to want to be a good gamer and stuff and, like, get good. But, like, honestly, like, at the time, I didn't have a game that scratched that itch. That's, like, I want to be challenged. But I also want to be respected. Like, I want the game to respect my my level of skill. And, like, challenge me to be better. Because, um, and, and do good. But the problem was, is, like, until I found out about Dark Souls, I was just kind of wandering around in a void. Like, I was, I was a lost gamer, honestly. Like, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just, I was just buying the next game, looking for my next fix. And I still kind of do that, but, like, I do it in a, in a much smarter fashion now, where I shop around for myself. You and siblings wanted the Wii when it came out so badly, Dad told us he'll get one for, he ended up getting you a 1990-ish Madden console, outdated as heck. You wanted to throw up? Wait, Madden console, like a uh, skinned PS2? I once pit I only ever I've only ever played Madden once in my life. <laughs> so my cousins are a bit of gamers, okay? So like they're they're a bit of gamers. And I picked up a sports game thinking, oh, this looks pretty easy. I don't know how to play a sports game, and I'm gonna be honest, sports games are hard games to play. Like, they're actually kind of difficult. And then my cousin comes up and says, press square, press triangle, press X, go left, press square. All I had to do is follow what he said. He was playing the game through me as, an, as a medium. And even then, he was so good at telling me what to do, I, I just, I, I actually managed to win. I was like, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Plus fix? What plus? Not like a pixel outdated console. Your dad was so happy. He got us to, he pretended to be thankful. See, that's the thing. It's like, you know, parents, like, they may not always know about games or, like, what's the latest trend and stuff, but parents will try. And that's the best thing about parents, is the fact that they'll try. 
and then they'll be like so happy for you because they like and it's like you know i i don't even per it's like yeah i may pretend to be thankful but like at the same time i'm actually like really happy inside because like you know i would rather have a parent that is trying than like one that just doesn't care you know it's like they may not understand everything you do and they may not like always like approve of your hobbies and stuff but like the fact that they try to care is like is a lot Told your dad you hated that large aggressive man would break into tears listen man listen like guys we're, we're not invincible we're not invincible okay we're we're all big teddy bears in the inside all a guy really wants is like is to do good and do right by people especially his kids so it's like yeah it's like like i'm not gonna lie it's like your dads can be like they can be very emotional so it's like anytime your dad tries to do something for you just kind of like think about it and just be like you know what man he's trying He's trying. He may be struggling, but he's trying. Oh my gosh, that's a giant mushroom with crystals! I'm gonna harvest you from my oceans! I don't think he liked that. <laughs> you played the Wii all the time, actually, with your dad but at the corner of your eyes. I swear that there was like a tr yeah, there was a tarantula. Your dad was like, what are you on about? Tarantula? Tarantulas? Oh gosh, no, don't die here, Bix. Ah! Dang it, I got slammed against the wall. If in the future your son has a full dive, you'll be playing it with him. Exactly! Exactly! I'm gonna be hopping in the full dive VR technology with my son side by side. Heck yeah! It was very touching, you miss him. I'm sorry to hear that, Coffee. Okay? I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. And. And, uh, I, I hope, I hope things get better, okay? Have a good night, okay? Coffee? Coffee? Listen. Look me in the eye. Coffee? Have a good night, okay? I'll talk to you later, alright? Have a good night. Go, go, go have happy dreams about being in Port Sarum. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna kick this mushroom's butt now! Let's go! Not the face, not the face! I know exactly how to talk to him. <laughs> Alright, I'm powering up. It's me versus the mushroom! Just one punchy wizard! I hate it, the mercenary just stole my kill. <laughs> Oh, there's a big black tarantula crawling in the corner. Man, I swear, it's like you're playing the game and it's like there's a bug, but you're like, man, I'm locked in. I don't want to lose. Oh, man. Where's my water? There it is. I was like, man, I'm so thirsty. I haven't, like, drank water in a while. Hydration is very important. If there's a bring your kids to work day, you want to bring your dad to gaming day? Ooh, dude, it's like, I used to play game. I used to play games a lot with my family, and then they grew out of it, and I honestly don't know why. Honestly, looking back, I was very possessive of my console, so it's very possible the reason my family aren't big gamers anymore is I might have, like, I, I might have turned into a little gremlin, honestly. Have a good night, ghost. Get wonderful sleep. Don't worry, we will have a really large event tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful night. Tennis Wii was the was the goat back in the 2000s. Man, I I listen. I am a I am a simple man. I like the Wii Sports. I once got up at 4 a.m. and for two hours straight I boxed 40. Three we uh me's and we and we sports also hello brain how are you doing tonight but no i i for two hours straight boxed from zero skill all the way up in like 43 matches i think i got to pro in we boxing and i finally lost on my 43rd match Thank you, you should show me a certain manga. What kind of a manga you got there, Oliver? What you hiding in your in your book bag? <laughs> Mike Tyson's Punch-Out? 
I know what game that is, and that's old. That is so old. That's so old, Cyber. You got your Pred badge from Apex. Congrats, man. I'm, 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 I'm proud of you. I'm glad that you got your Predator badge in Apex. <laughs> Just stay out of the school zones. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't listen to me. Do not listen. Do not let me get away with that. No, no, Bix. Bad Bix. Bad. Oh, gosh. You sent it? Hold on. I want to see what, I want to see what Oliver's sending me real quick. Hold on. What you got there, buddy? My dad, oh my gosh. I know this manga. My dad's the queen of all VTubers from Manga Dex. I know exactly what this is, and I'm sad that I do. Is this... Is this the manga with the legendary panel shot of him telling his kid how he earns the food that he puts on the table? Cause like, that crap was wild. <laughs> Don't worry, you're very close to the school zones, cause you ride in the... Cause you ride in the bus to school every day. <laughs> Oh my gosh, brain. Oh my gosh. Oh man. But no, Oliver, I is that is that what it is? Cause like, okay, I'm like I'm not gonna lie guys. So like there are a few um I think there's like one or three manga where the guy where the dad in the family, it's like a slice of life, but he's like a VTuber. And I shit you not. There was a manga panel. Where he tells your his kids, he's like, you know your dads. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. No, I can't. I can't say that. He's, he tells them that his pictures are what puts the food on the table. And the kids are just looking at him like, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did I forget that you're that? No, I did not. And also, I'd be careful saying that on YouTube. It can sometimes get you banned by the system. So try not to uh, be a little careful there with that, all right? <laughs> Do it. Say it. Say it. All right. Literally. Oh, gosh, man. Can I just show y'all the photo? Can I just say it? Yo, whack me with a baguette? No, not the bread, please. All right, so there's literally this panel, this panel, where he says your dad's panty shots are what pays for the food that I put on your table. I'm like, no, no, no. Like it's so cringe, but it's so funny. I'm like the the dude. Like, oh my gosh, OnlyFans go crazy. Imagine an only, imagine a OnlyFans for VTubers called OnlyPixels. <laughs> imagine OnlyPixels. <laughs> like that would be that would be so funny. <laughs> like, oh, like man, <laughs> like that only no, no brain, no, 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 no. No, please, no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, man. Man, if there's one show I really want to watch. It's The Punisher. That would be such a fun show to watch. I want to watch the... I want to watch John Bernthal beat the crap out of guys in hallway scenes. Like, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Only Pokemon... No, that's so bad. No, please. Not after Power World. No. <laughs> The amount of Catress videos I've seen from Pal World is insane. Also, is this where I can fight my cousin? Is this my cousin? I think we're dangerously close to my cousin's boss fight. And you'll see why in a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here. There's no laws against the Pokemon Batman. There's no laws against the Pokemon. <laughs> It's like, no, Joker. No, Joker. It's like, you know I'm going to do that thing, huh? Don't you, Batman? <laughs> no, I can't, I can't take this seriously right now. I can't. 
Okay. Hey, it's Bex it or no, it's Pixica! It's Pixica, my long lost cousin! How you doing, Pixie? How you doing, boy? How's the wife and kids? <laughs> you think we don't know your moves? What? I don't get what you're talking about. What do you mean? We're sharing information regardless of status, so we know your fighting style. You guys don't stand a chance. Oh, Pixtica. I like missed you. <laughs> it's your Pokemon Batman. It's like, yeah, if Joker's the owner of the Pokemon, he can technically do whatever he wants. It's not a crime. Or do you think Nurse uh do you think Officer Jenny has to like go around busting trainers? And, okay, I'm not gonna lie, if the if the if the cops in Pokemon ever went undercover. It would totally be the Jinxes. They would literally use the Jinxes as the undercover agent. I'm calling it. <laughs> like, like, imagine a Jinx. Imagine getting tripped up by a Jinx. That would be so bad. <laughs> oh, let's go, Pixica. How you doing? Alright, I can't go easy on you. I'm gonna have to go all out. Just this once. Oh my gosh, I forgot how fast he gets. Alright, Enchant Sword. I'm just gonna spam this right up his face. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Oh, I died, gosh. Of course I died. That's what I'm good at, after all. Honestly, it's probably the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring it on, Pixie. Bring it on. Oh my gosh, is he changing element on the fly? Hold on. If he can change elements, does that mean I'm not? Uh, doesn't that mean I'm weak to him? All right, where is he at? All right. Okay. All right, back up a second. We need to get that MP charge snuck in there real quick. Okay, that hurt. I just got shoulder checked. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my goodness! Holy smokes! It's a freaking light show in here. What is going on? Please don't die. Ow! Of course I died. Come on, Pixie! Come on! Cash these hands just like you did all those years ago. Okay, nope, 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 go nope, back! Nope, nope. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy smokes! Why? No, please! Dude, there's nowhere for me to stand right now. <laughs> this guy is just... He is spamming so hard against me. Oh, gosh. Wait, can I kill him with rushes? Oh, no, don't fix, please. Oh, my gosh. If this guy was a Pokemon, imagine a Gengar rapid-firing shadow balls on, like, a machine gun. That would be scary. Holy smokes, I actually forgot how difficult that fight is and how he can spam the whole field. Like, oh my gosh, that's kind of scary. Oh, man. Hey, 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 leave that bridge alone. What did it do to you? Hey, hey, Pixie, buddy, listen. This is why we don't invite you to the Thanksgiving dinner, all right? Yeah, get out of here. Go back to where you came from. Man, we can no longer go to the... Dickety sector! <laughs> the Dicket sector! Oh, okay, alright, alright. Man. It's only Laponi Batman. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I think Laponies are low tier. That's right, I said it. I think, lo I think, I think Laponies are low tier. I think you're basic. I think if you're going for a Laponi, I think you're basic, buddy. Yeah. It's like, I think Gardevoir is a safe choice. But, like, I, I was like, you never, like, you always hear about Gardevoir, but man, think about it. Gothitelle IHOP. <laughs> like, think, think Gothitelle IHOP, buddy. Come on. Come on. Goth girl IHOP. Come on. Come on. I know some of y'all are with me on this. Come on. Join me. Join Bix. <laughs> Don't make you go German on me. Hey man, listen, I'm just I'm just speaking some facts, okay? I'm just speaking some facts. It's like listen, listen, you can have a Gothitel. There's um <laughs> No. Ah 
Aw, oh, come on. No one, no one wants a goth tell. No one wants your standard goth, your, your standard goth Pokemon. <laughs> I feel like there's, uh, I feel like there's other options, but man, my mind is like drawing a blank. Uh, okay, you know what? All right, listen. I will level with you guys. I will tell y'all. I'm not. Listen, I'm not a furry. Let's get that straight right now, okay? <laughs> listen, I am not a furry. Don't you twist my words on this either. I'm just saying if. I could choose a Pokemon, okay? It would, uh... It would be the Firefox. It would be Delphox. Because I have a thing for Kitsune's, okay? I, I like my- I like my fox- my fiery fox wizard, okay? And there ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm just saying, I'm not a furry, so get it right. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get blasted for this later. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be I'm gonna get so blasted by this later. <laughs> Pen! No, no, Cory, come on, please, man. Come on, Cory, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Hey, listen, listen. You guys are all gonna sit here and tell me about Gardevoirs and Lopanese and. And like all and like all these other ones, it's like listen, I'm just i I'm just setting the record straight, okay? Also, hi Andy, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh man. Andy, I swear this is not what it looks like, okay? It's not like there's not, there ain't anything suspicious going on right now. Ain't nothing suspicious. It's just another day in the in the ordinary life of Bix. <laughs> Are we talking about the Pokemon ladies? <laughs> Like, Dawn and, like, all the other trainers? Are you talking about, like, the girls, Cory? Isn't, like, the only legal trainer in the manga, Leaf? <laughs> you either have your personal Fubuki? Wait, are you talking about, like, Fubuki? Like, Shiro, Shiro Kami Fubuki? Old Bear, do you and I share our... Do we share an Oshi? Because I, I actually, uh, I love Fubuki so much. <laughs> I have a lot of favorites in Hollow, but I only like about a quarter of the talents. Holy crap, it's Shampy again. Oh my gosh. When was the last time I fought Shampy? Why did Shampy die so quickly? <clears throat> but you yeah, know, I like I like Fubuki. Not just like cause Fubuki, but like I love I love uh Kurokami. Kurokami is so is is just great. I love Kuro I love her color swap. Where like she like bullies chat and like she turns into Kurokami. I love it. Your first uh Oshi after you discovered Kizuna Eye. See, I think Kizuna Eye was like everyone's like little gateway that is like it's like you may or may not have liked Kizuna Eye, but like you heard about Kizuna Eye. Kizuna Eye is like the Hatsune Miku of VTubers, I wanna say. And and I actually remember watching her first Hello World concert, um, online, which was absolutely fantastic. I actually think Keys and I does some pretty cool stuff, and I actually like her singing. <laughs> but honestly, like, I think when VTubers came out, I was at a very low point in my life where I was like, I don't want to get into this. I don't really want to touch it. I don't really want to learn a new thing. And I was, um, I was very skeptical, but then one day I had a very, 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 very freaking bad day. And I saw a clip of Inugami Korone trying out Doom for the first time. And there was just something about her giggle. There was just something about the way she smiled. There was just something about the look in her eye. That got me just going like I was like, oh, this is the most entertaining thing I've seen in forever. And it got me thinking about VTubers. Then fast forward to the release of Mori Calliope. Calliope Mori, I swear, if she had not released that diss track on Twitter, like calling everyone out for just being a bunch of VTweeters, I honestly would not be sitting right here right now. I would not be in this chair as Bixis. 
like Bixis would not exist without that without that without that one song from Mori Calliope. It's like I love Corone, but I love Corone because I like to watch Corone. But then like I saw I heard Mori Calliope's music and it and it literally pushed me over the edge to have the confidence I needed to go on my journey. V Tweeter? No, not V Twitter, it's V Tweeter. V tweeters are people that just sit around and farm uh farm interaction bait and clout and stuff by not actually by like posing as a VTuber but like not actually doing VTuber based activities. They're very looked down upon because they just do a, they spread a lot of misinformation and hate in the community. So it's like like not a lot of people are not it's like they're they're not great. And but there were a lot of them around the time of Hall Life English and there still are a lot of them nowadays. And Mori Calliope, I believe she released the song Off With Her with Off With Your Heads. And it was a song that was a bit of a call out for a lot of the people that were like out there like being lazy, saying like, oh, it's like, oh, you have fame and recognition just because you have this platform, or like it's like none of this is hard work and stuff. It's like, but it's, it is hard work. It's a lot of research, it's a lot of time. You have to like be entertaining. Like you gotta have like you gotta like go through like this whole journey and stuff. And it's like then you got people over on Twitter just sitting around, just making like just acting lazy. And so it's yeah, I, I loved her music because like I was like it spoke to me and made me realize that I wanted to be a VTuber, but I realized that that feeling was superficial. And, like my feeling like of longing to want to be a VTuber was superficial because I did not have motivation in my life. So, her calling people out made me realize I was never going to do it. And I was like, you know what? You know what? You think I'm not going to do it? You think I can't and you think I can't do this all on my own? You think I can't sink the money into it and make it work? And then I'm um, sitting here before you today. I I put in a lot of hard work. I researched my butt off for one year and in order to like get to a comfortable point and I found a studio uh, heaven mosaic and that's how I got my model and so it's like I am forever fa I'm, I'm literally forever uh, in like grateful to Hall Life for existing and giving us Oshis that we can like live up to and they like set such a unique uh, professional standard in the industry that I just I love immensely and honestly it's like I just would not be the person I am today without them so it's like hopefully one day one day, I'll be able to do a project that may just give a little bit back. I think that would be, that, that would be like, if, I think that would be like, I made it moment. Me making it is like me doing a project that like leaves an impact of some sorts. Like that's what I want to do. It's like, I want to, I want to give back to my Oshis. Cause like, I have a lot of Oshis and I have Oshis for different reasons. Kyla is like, like, I don't know all there if you know about Kyla. Kyla Kowalskia of of uh, Hall Life Indonesia. I look up to her a lot because I I love her as a gamer. She does a lot of like challenging stuff, like farming and long plays, and overall has like an impressive high endurance. And it's like, man, I want to be like that. Like that's my ideal gamer. I want to be able to like game for like long periods, but like still be entertaining and not get tired and stuff. Like I want to be able to like. I want to like really push myself to like to like do more complicated things, and then like Fubuki is like I love a lot of the memes Fubuki does. Crony, I love her like personality. I love how how she is as a person. Uh, Crony is like just someone I get along with and I relate to, and Callie is like that person that like pushes and motivates me. And then Gur is like oh yeah, Gur is like where I go to like get my shit posts. It's like I have a lot of Oshis for different reasons. And I think that's fine. I think you can have more than one Oshi. I, I don't. I think people who say that you can only have one Oshi, it's like, if I had to pick one Oshi, it would probably be Callie. But honestly, I, I like to say that I have like at least two to like seven or something. Where, but it's like I have them all for like different reasons. I think that's okay. She's a gamer breed. I'm telling you, man. So someone that like literally exists to play like league for like 24 hours a day like my goodness she is something else she's built different 
And this is the farming section. Also, good morning, Awachaka! How you doing today, buddy? I'm sorry if I screamed into the microphone. I was trying to make that. I was trying to make that kind of soft. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? Good morning. Hope your day is starting off just right, unless it's afternoon for you. In Kyle's case, you think we should be concerned with the viewers instead of Kyla? <laughs> oh, I saw that the other day. Like, chat was begging her to go to sleep. Like, chat was on their hands and knees saying, Oh, please, goddess of games, please go to sleep so that we may preserve your beauty and skill for, for later. And Kyla's like, nah. Only game. <laughs> like, my goodness. Like, who is this lady? Where does she get it from? Like, how? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, we. Hi, Andy. <laughs> but no, seriously, Kyle is a different breed. I think she said she played League for like 54 hours one time. Like, how do you even do that? I I have to go to work. I, I can't do that every day. Like, I, 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 as much as I wish I could be in that scenario, I, at the same time, I realize it would be so bad for me as a person. <laughs> All right, bring it on, Kuzo, my old nemesis. Come on, Kuzdo, fight me. Fight me, nerd. Come on, hit me with your best shot. And he hit me with his best shot. Have a good one, Aotaka. Sayonara. Sayonara, Aotaka. 24 hour stream? No, 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 no. Listen, listen here. Listen here, you. Listen. I am not prepared to die on this hill, okay? I am not dying here. I, I refuse to die. Let's do this. Yes, you can. Oh, gosh. Man, I'm gonna die if I stay in that. So, how the... Oh, my gosh. Those are meteors. Oh, my gosh. What the heck is this? Whee! Let's go! Alright, give me those enchant swords. I'm gonna make him bleed. I'm chopping the wood off his legs. He's only gonna be crystal when I'm done with him. Then I'm gonna chop him up into crystal candy. And I'm gonna consume him. And then crap him out over the mountaintop. That's what I'm gonna do. I am not dying there. Holy smokes, that was a lot of damage. Oh, Bix. Bix, please. Please. No, I would like to live, game. Please, I'd like to live. Thank you. Playing Torum for 48 hours and then dead and woke up Isekai. If I ever played Torum for more than 24 hours, please, please just kill, just, just send the assassins. My head is right next to my window. It's a clean shot from across the hillside. Ain't nobody gonna figure out who did it. Just do it. Put me out of my misery. <laughs> Not that I'm saying I would hate to do it, but it's like, man, I don't know. Could I actually do that? Imagine I just do a main quest marathon. Main quest marathon, no skipping dialogue, every single boss on the hardest difficulty, 24 hours. Let's go. <laughs> oh gosh, man. That would, oh, I would be so dead. Like, I've honestly considered doing 24 to 48 hour streams, but here's the problem. I only have two days off. So it's like, I gotta make up my time very efficiently. I gotta be able to get sleep. I gotta be able to, like, go out and do my personal business. I gotta make phone calls. I gotta make sure I'm doing, like, all this adult stuff. <laughs> all my days off before I'm allowed to play. So it's like, if I just spent my my only two days off doing like a 48 hour stream, man, I, that would be, so, that would be so hard on me. It would be so hard, like my goodness. 
You built a functional boat with multiple facilities in Raft survival mode. I've always wanted to play Raft. But honestly, I just don't want to go out of my way to play Raft, if that makes sense. You can never show you the world of that Raft you're playing for proof? No, I believe you, because I've seen Karen. I have seen Leo, Karen, and Sylvie play Raft for three weeks. And I've seen them play off stream. I have seen the monstrosities you guys are capable of making in that game. Like, my goodness. Like, that's not a raft. That is a... That is a straight-up, um... Cruise ship at that point. Like, at what point does it stop, you know? Like, what what point? <laughs> uh, why is it 99? Why, why am I being sold a oh, full stack? Let me just buy this. Thank you. Alright, we have uh, got the materials. We need to leave it, deliver it to Garador. Which is all the way back in the Dicket sector. But yeah, no, Alder, I, I definitely believe you, buddy. By the way, where are my Honkai Star Rail players? I need to know how many people are about to pull for Akron. Be honest. Because I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling I'm feeling the sweat across my brow right now thinking about Acheron. Like honestly, Acheron might actually claim my wallet. You guys think to yourself, but why stop here? Why stop here when I've done so much over there? It's like there needs to be a little bit of work over here. Then we need to do some polishing right over here. Yep, it requires patience. I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree with y'all there. But no, seriously, I, I logged into Star Rail. I did, um, I did Acheron's, uh, character trial. Oh my gosh. A, a, a character that doesn't rely on energy for their ultimates and relies purely off their skills. That's kind of broken, honestly. <laughs> like, that's actually kind of broken. She can just spam ult if she chooses. Unless, of course, she's targeting a single target, which she then falls off on. But she does so much damage, it doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> like, I want to play Honkai Star Rail so bad, but at the same time, I gotta hold myself back and hold myself to a standard, honestly. And the tentacles! Ooh, strange tentacles. But I bet that's a delicacy. I bet that looks delicious dipped in soy sauce. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna man, I wonder. If you came across a weird tentacle, would you cook it? Like it, like as long as you knew it's like a part of an octopus or something, if you saw a tentacle, would you cook it? Takoyaki? Is that what that's called? Is that what Takoyaki is? I don't think I've ever actually seen a straightforward photo of Takoyaki. But, it, but Takoyaki sounds delicious up front. Like, honestly, it sounds really, really delicious. And I'm like, I would kind of want to eat some of that. Because, like, oh man, it sounds super good. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, what are all the bulk? Can I pop those on the ceiling? They look like giant pimples. I want to just stab my gauntlet around them. And I would want to grip them with my gauntlet and just squeeze them, you know? Yeah, the filling is taco. Wait, taco. Taco? 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 I'm not familiar with that. With what that is. I need to look this up. I need to look up Japanese cuisine. That reminds me. I need to figure out what I'm doing for a cooking stream one day. Because I'm trying to get up my hands on a wireless webcam for that. <laughs> I also need my kiss the chef apron. 100%. Oh, don't die here, Bix. Hey, hey Bix, don't die. Like, please don't die here. Why is there a flying tentacle? Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Alright, MP charge right here. 
Holy smokes. I'm gonna get absolutely bashed by this guy in a second. Alright, first. Immersion, impact, reunion. I, oh, oh gosh, he's resistant, of course. He's actually resistant to my damage. That's not good. I'm just gonna hit him with Power Wave a few times. Hopefully he'll die. Octopus nor Squid? See, now I want to look it up now so bad. I'm like, don't. It's like, I'm tempted to just open Google and just search up Takoyaki and how to make it. Critical resist. Is that what that is? Can you re how do you resist a critical? I never understood that in games. How do you resist a critical? I think a critical should always hit in games. Like, critical resist is just a fancy way of saying we reduce your damage to normal. Like, why? Just say immune to critical instead of resist to critical. It makes no sense. Fighting technique? Resisting a crit- If I land a critical, you're taking the damage. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're something like a golem. Then I could be like, oh, okay. It's like, if you're a golem, then, like, you're immune to criticals. And I have to hit you with physical damage. But, like, I think if you- If you swing a sword down a certain way and you hit that sweet spot, it should do some damage. I think critical resist is just a fancy way of saying, sorry, we just downgraded you down to normal damage. Sorry, we, we messed with your build a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it like this in a bad way. I'm just, I'm just kind of like, just explaining it, you know? You know, I wish I had an outfit like this. These, like, these cool uniform outfits are like, ooh, these look nice. Reinforcements are on their way. Torm is auto attack based anyway. Not that we manually swing our arm to get a good hit. <laughs> but Im imagine your fighting spirit in real life makes you fight better in a video game. Imagine. Imagine being able to go ha and just be like, oh yes, I feel the power coursing within me. I am buffing myself through my through my inner, like, the energy I'm putting out in real life, We're like, ah! There would be so many noise complaints. <laughs> there would be so many noise complaints now, like, in, in households and stuff. Like, man, no one would be safe anymore. But, like, there used to be video games back in the day. You had to read a script on the screen, and the, and the console had a microphone. It was like a form of parental controls, basically saying, you need to be old enough to read to play our game. I've seen that before. I've, I've actually seen that before. Also, don't mind the broken track that's Crawl. Crawl has been saying the same thing for so many years. I think he, I think, uh, I think Crawl ran out of memory space a while back. <laughs> that's my, that's my payback, buddy. That's my payback. It's like, if Crawl doesn't, if Crawl ever says anything but can I kill Bixus, I know he's not Crawl. Like, that's an imposter. What did I do? Oliver, he's literally been saying kill Bixus for the past year. It has been one year. He's still saying it. I've done nothing. I've legit done nothing. Nothing at all. Because you want to. Hey, right, look, he said something different. That's not crawl. That's an imposter. Guards, grab him. <laughs> also, you may want to, but I must remind you that you literally look insane half the time. You, like, you gotta understand. You look insane. Saying the same thing over and over like a broken record. I'm just, I'm trying to help you out. Like, I, like, I'm actually trying to help you, buddy. You know? It's like, swap it up an hour then. Just, just swap it up. Be like, hey, how's your day? How are things going? How's life? <laughs> it's like, 
It's like I, I feel like I feel like we could be I feel like we could be more productive with our conversation this way. <laughs> okay, listen, when I said change it up, I did not mean immediately start listing every single boss that can kill me in less than 10 seconds. There is a difference. That is not what I meant. You know it, buddy. Oh gosh. <clears throat> oh gosh. Lonely Lolly Kami Kurin. What did I just read? What is that? But man, also, I lived against Naida, by the way, and I have survived one round of Pillow Kitagawa. I survived three rounds of P. Ava. I don't know who Sika is. So, ha! I, I, have, I have outplayed you, my guy. I have outplayed you. Alright, let's get on. Oh my gosh, I might actually die in this fight. Hi! Hey, boss! Hey, Gravisep! How's it been, buddy? How's my purple cactus doing nowadays? Oh, you think... You think you're gonna get that... Oh, gosh. No, oh, please. No, please. Mercy! 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 Oh! He's actually scary. He's actually scary. Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, please don't give me that. No. <laughs> no, shut up. I don't want to hear it from you. Shut up. Don't die on your watch. Uh, Don't die on Corey's watch starting now. Yeah, let's go. Hurrah for starting late. You know, I think I'm just gonna nap on the ground for a second and just sit in my water while I, while I try to get my battle spirit back in gear. Ah, let's go. I'm gonna. I love how I'm just getting absolutely blasted, like chill lo fi music. Like, oh my gosh. Hurrah! Ah, yes, finale him! Nuke him! Nuke him! Why is he so beefy? Uh, I'm going over here to MP charge uh, in safety. All right, one more enchant sword. I need him with the combo. All right, first, dual bringer conversion, impact union reunion, and because I was facing the wrong way, it canceled out reunion. No. What the heck kind of BS is that? What is, like, what's going on there? Dang it, I died to Osura. I actually died to Osura. Dang. Man, I have to keep an eye on Osura. Sometimes I go to deactivate it to reset my stacks and it just automatically kills me. Graviset moves a lot. Man, Graviset needs to learn to be like a Roomba and just stay in place and move slowly. Like, you are so beefy, my guy. There's no reason you should be moving so fast. I died on your watch? Nah, I'm alive. See, I came right back to life. So it doesn't count, does it? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I should probably get a real tank now. Let's get a real tank, guys. Let's get someone who can, um... Let's, uh, let's, uh, don't disband the party. I'm gonna kick the mercenary out real quick and get a different one. You know what? I haven't used Cronus's mercenary in a long time. Let's use Cronus's. I bully Karen's way too much. I need to go easy on his mercenary today. Well, do I have anything that can help here? Do I have any? Where's my, where's my boiled lobsters? There we go, and then use my energy bottle. There we go, now we have a little bit more HP. I'm gonna try to do this on normal difficulty, by the way, so that way it's an actual, like, challenge. Wanna hear it? I would love to hear your story, buddy. I would love to hear it. How did I dodge that? I am right underneath this. Oh gosh. Oh please! Oh. How am I alive? I just I just took a full 
I just took a full stack of attacks from from Gravisep. How am I alive? What the heck? Alright, got the burst. Alright, there we go. Sheesh! Alright, got him. Alright, don't die here, Mix. Took me one hour and five minutes to beat that. I I could never take it. I could never do this for that amount of time. And out. Out. Oh my gosh, there's so many sharks. Stop spinning, you fool. Stop it, you're not a Beyblade. No. This is not Gravisep Destroyer. It's 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 Gravity Destroyer, not the other way around. He's gonna nuke it again. Hey, don't do that. Stop that. No, no, please. No, please. No, please. Holy smokes. I don't even know how that. What is going on? He's still spinning. How? How is he still spinning? And I accidentally used Maximizer. No. No, please. I don't want to die like this. I don't want to die while stuck using Maximizer. I'm dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. That hits. Ow. No, please. Okay, man. I'm going to swear. I swear. Graviceps. No, please. Let's not do it. Ow. Ow. Oh, ow, that actually hurts! What the heck was that? Oh, man. I just got hit by a freaking Dude, I'm gonna be honest. He's over here acting like a daggum freaking Beyblade. And I'm like, why? Also, where am I? Why am I stuck in a wall? Man. You think you're so tough, don't you, Graviceps? You think you're so special, don't you? Well, you know what? You know what, buddy? That may just be the case. But I ain't gonna take this line down. Uh, maybe try getting it into a corner? Honestly, might have to try that. What does this help that? <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. I'm get, I'm grabbing something. I want something. I need something from the Discord. Where is it? Where are my pinned comments? Crit rates. Where are you? 103-7777. I bet. Alright, boys. We're gonna eat some food. We're gonna go find ourselves some tasty, tasty food. We are hungry, hungry hippos right now. This is this is what I'm resorting to. <laughs> this is what I'm this is what I'm going for. <laughs> we're gonna. We're, I don't know how big of a difference this is going to make, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's do this. What is this, like, run number four? This is, like, run number four. I'm gonna let Palulu go first. Shine! Oh, you thought. Alright, one more. You have crit level 10 buff, though? I don't think I have any crit damage invested on this character at all. Alright, I have a chance I have a second to actually land this. I only did 219,000 damage? What the heck? Ow. Stay out of his range, Bix. Stay out of his range. Uh, I'm just gonna MP charge right this real quick. 
Oh, I could die standing here. I could actually die standing here. I need to get out of there. I'm just gonna watch the shark right here. Oh. No, please. That's not good. I need two more enchant swords. Wait, I'm actually, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually making a mark. I'm actually making a mark on him. Holy, almost, almost. No, nope, I'm getting far away from that. I'm MP charging safely over here. This this might actually be the the W run. If I didn't do that. Okay, I don't know how I'm alive. I don't know how none of those sharks hit me. But let's just say life is good. Life is good. You heard me talking crap again. No, please kill, please. Six, I will never forgive you if you die to this stupid to spinning toy top right here. If you die right here, I swear I'm so done with you. All right. Your days are numbered! Let's go! Get out of here! Get out of here, Gravisep! I'm done with you! Get out of here! Your, your spinning days are over! You are done! You are washed up! You are beneath my boots! You only serve as XP to fuel us adventurers! Know your place, trash! <laughs> Oh gosh, oh man. No, I don't want to think about Repthon, please. No, please, please don't, please don't bring up Repthon. I don't want to, I don't want to think about Repthon. 21 million 500,000 XP. Please tell me it gives me like two, two level ups. Also, Uwe, how you doing? Oh, first try, no, that was like my fifth try. That was my fifth try, and it took me go eating crit food just to stand a chance. <laughs> oh, gosh. Also, Thanji. Ooh, someone's asking me if I have a YouTube. Yes. Yes, I do. Nice to meet you. There we go. Also, welcome, Ue. Hope you're having a wonderful night. All right, let's see. What what are we on now? The teleporter left behind. We need to go back to the Dicket sector. I'm gonna be honest. As like out of all of the city names, Dicket is the best. I love Dicket because it sounds like Giggity from like Family Guy. So it's like I'm like the Dickety sector. <laughs> it's one of my favorite places to go to. Honestly, it's so much fun. That's a lot of VXP. I know, right, Corey? That's a lot of VXP. I feel like the most I've ever had, though, is like 41,500,000, I want to say. So, I mean, you can get a lot of XP, but, like, I'm going to be honest, eventually it just equates to, like, one level up. Like, it literally equates to, like, a singular level up at times. So, it's like, it can, it can take a while to level up, Corey. Which I think your character is like level 191. I don't think we finished doing your masked warrior grinding. So it's like, I think that's where you're at. I think you're like actually right. I think I'm like 20 levels below you or something. I want to say. Actually, no, this is banana leveling is actually. I think we're both at banana leveling. But honestly, like, I got really tired of doing like, I, I'm going to be honest. I, I get really tired sometimes of doing the boss leveling. I, I like to fight the bosses and farm the bosses. I don't really like to farm EXP off the boss though. Because once it gets to Kuzto and Graviceps, I'm like, why can't I just use Adventure Diaries? It's like, I like the process of learning a character over the course of a year. And like learning it slowly, building it. And kind of like going on a journey with like my Torum character. 
So it's like, I don't mind leveling through the main quest. Plus, I actually like this game's main quest. It's actually really fun. I like it. I like a lot of the characters like Triet. Like, she's super duper cute. Love her sword. Love her outfit. She's like, really cool adventure. And it's like, yeah. What's your level now? I actually haven't looked at it in a while. So let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's, let's check it out real quick. We are level 177. We started at level 171 tonight. Which means I should have some stat points to distribute. <laughs> Not many. I have like 2 or 14. Let's see. How do I get my stats to go higher? Do I just... Do I just oh, there it goes. I was wondering how to trigger that for a bit. Resetting stats will increase the cap if 500 points are not consumed first. I wish you could just dump one stat sometimes. Because, like, I would totally dump intelligence, like, so bad. I would do that off rip. <laughs> oh, do I want more agility or do I want more strength? Uh, let me get more strength so I can get more damage. I'm gonna put it right right around 264. That's fine. Cause like I'm gonna convert it to intelligence anyways off my character. Let's see, agility mix. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'm sorry. My bad. I made a bad move. My bad. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, Pew? How's it going? Let's see. Uh, I want to go to my skills. How many skill points do I have? I have 17 skill points. What am I not using in my character? Not using... I feel like I should be using teleport more often. I forgot what I need to level 10 through here. I want to say it's enchant sword. I want to say I'm supposed to level 10 enchant sword. I wonder if I can make some longer combos, though. Slash enemies with the magic blade. The element depends on the sub-magic device. Accuracy rate affects the skill. Chance to inflict weakness. Don't I have that on my... Don't I have that on one of my combos? Let's see, my combos are... Slide with Shell Break. Impact for Reunion Sword. Uh, burst to Activate Conversion. And I don't know why I have Siphon Barrier here, or Chakra like this. It has been a while. You have a math exam and it has a bunch of calculus and your head is all about fell off doing it. Have you already done your uh, math exam? I hope it went well. Or if you're about to take it, I hope, uh, I, I hope, I wish you luck, honestly. Because math can be the worst sometimes. Why is Bash on here? Ooh, what the? Ooh, what the? Should I be using any of this? Th this goes to show, like, how often I, d I play this class. <laughs> Wait, is this the new? Is this new? Shut out. Oh, this looks pretty good. Gladiate? Nope. It's the day and the weather is gloomy. Can I tell the exam's gonna be? No. Bad. Bad pew. Bad. No, you're gonna do great because you studied. You're gonna do well. You know your stuff. You're gonna get an. You're gonna get a slam dunk A plus. I can. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it. Pew is gonna get an A plus. I'm calling it right now. None of that, none of that downer stuff. No, because you're gonna, you're gonna do great, and I know you're gonna do great. Head towards the old Lufinos Mansion ruins to find a teleporter. Wait, Lufinos Mansion ruins? Why does it sound familiar? I need to head east. Oh, I have a can't. I have a, I have a, I have a, uh, I have a triangle telling me where to go. I should listen to the tingle telling me which direction to go to. What is that, Boris Dicka? That's weird. But no, seriously, Pew, I think you're going to do great today. Eat some Smarties, eat some of that smart candy, and you're going to do awesome, all right? You're going to you're going to absolutely kill it. Cuz it's like as long as you know your formulas, you're going to you're going to ace it. Ah. Oh, that's right. There's a uh, there's a little stairwell here we got to go through. 177. I wonder, like, I think 177 to, like, 200 is, like, Venena. I want to say it's Venena. If you have to compare, you'd rather do a whole tour on main quest five times repeatedly than do a map. 
Also, Pew, you, I'm I'm gonna say I have made I have made Spina. I I'm not gonna lie, I've spent a little bit tonight, but I made around roughly 21 million Spina so far. I I'm doing good. I have learned the ways. And as you can see, I, I still have all of this in my inventory. <laughs> look at all this. Look at all these materials I've just been I just got. I sold all of my all of my bird wings today and I made uh, uh some more money, but I didn't have a full stack. I still have 31 bird wings just chilling in my inventory. <laughs> Like, I, I, I have so, I, I have been heavily into the bird wing farming. It is so much fun to sit there and just, like, kind of cast Blizzard and chill. Like, literally, like, I, that's what I call bird wing farming. I call it Blizzard and chill. <laughs> oh. You, you do see me on Ruin Temple all the time. I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm there AFK because I'm just sitting at work waiting for an opportunity to just kill some birds so like i'll get like a few stacks and i'll go back to work and then like i'll sell them slowly on the co-assignment board stop killing the black wings never i need them for money cyber <laughs> you're all also farms d-wing every day i i okay it's a good way to earn money really fast See, it's like, I need a party to do energy bottles. Like, I, I would prefer to farm energy bottles. But no one is either there or two. I don't have a party. And it's like, I feel like I can't do it without a party. You know? I just realized I'm getting dangerously close to the war arc in Torem, I think. I think I'm like chapter 9, chapter 10 right now. Yeah, I'm chapter 9. So I, I'm getting very close to the war arc. For 100 stacks of free bird wings for yourself every day, self service. <laughs> Listen, I'm just glad that some of you guys are willing to pay top dollar for bird wings so I can just, so I can actually be a new player. I feel like bird wings is like something I should have been doing a long time ago. Wait, I can go down this tree trunk. Just skip it? What do you mean skip it? I like it, it's fine. I get to sit and chill in a large group of people and then go sell it to people in Sophia. And I can walk between both points within five minutes? Easy. If you farm diligently, then almost every hour you can easily earn one mil. That's if I'm doing it diligently, and that's only in my off time, and unfortunately, I can't do it that much in my off time. <laughs> because in my off time, I need to just give it the war arc. Aww, skip it go. I like the war arc. It's fun. It's a fun, it's a fun one. But yeah, no, I, I, um... When I was doing it on stream the other night, I think it was only like, what, 30, 40 minutes. I already made like, uh, it's like if I did it diligently, I had higher levels. Like, oh my gosh, I, I like a like a full four man. And yeah, I'd make a lot of money in an hour. <laughs> oh, hi, Repthon. How you doing, buddy? All right, time to die. Ow. Oh, yeah, you didn't even hurt me that bad. I almost died there. All right. Ooh, sharks. Hi, sharks. How you doing? I know there's Shark Week in Torum right now. All right. Oh, I didn't want to do that. All right, burst. You'll bring her conversion impact and I got blasted oh gosh man I gotta start my cycle all over again that's a pain I really hate having to restart my cycles so much pain alright gotta get back in there did he just change element ow shark wave nah it's shark week <laughs> 
I think it's much funnier to call it Shark Week. Oh my gosh. Not- I hate this. The stupid ground spikes are the most annoying thing in this game. I swear. It is the most annoying attack to ever exist. Get over here! Uh, enchant sword, enchant sword. Get my last enchant sword at the cost of me almost dying again, probably. I s- Nope, 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 go away, go away, go away, go away. I don't want you near me, Repthon, don't do that. Don't do that, bad Repthon, bad boy. Down, boy. There we go, I can burst safely over here, away from him. No, run away, not that. Union, reunion, and kill. And he's not dead. Ow! I really thought I could trade him right there, and I was like, nope. Nope. Can't trade him, sadly. I was like, surely I could I could trade him. Alright. Oh, don't do that. I thought he was going to start diving again. Uh, and he is. I'm somehow on the edge of the hitbox. Did I just cancel that out the last second with Osorora? Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I died three times, but I got it. I still win. That still counts, right? <laughs> Man, shark attacks are real. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I wish sharks existed in Final Fantasy XIV. Because Final Fantasy XIV, it would be so much more fun with sharks. Imagine getting chased around by little shark fins, and if they hit you, you just almost die in the process. Like, heck yeah. <laughs> oh, like that would be, that would be terrifying. But my All right, where are we at? Inanis Wilderness. I think this is like where we, I think we're getting close to the Black Knight as well. Yeah, I want to say Black Knight's coming up soon at some point. You don't think so, Cypher? What do you mean you don't think so? Alright. Oh, wait, Hugh, I've been meaning to ask you. Do you still buy bird wings? Because I will sell to you if, you if you want me to, bud. Like, I will do it. I, would, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be against it. Alright, let's go this way. I want to see what the next boss is real quick. I want to just see the. I want to see the next boss. I want to see like where we're sitting at. I think we're like what level 178, 179. You will if I got anything for sale. I don't have anything right now. I have a bunch of like other odds and ends I need to sell, but like I will definitely once I have a a nerf stack, I I will personally give you my next stack if you want. All right, so yeah, I think. I want to say this is Vulture. Yeah, I want to say Vulture is next. Which I kind of want to save Vulture. So Vulture's kind of fun. So yeah, I told you. It's like, yeah, there's ba uh, What is his name? Balf? I want to say it's Balf. Hurrah. Hurrah. Yeah. Get over here. Weak. Dying with one punch. How dare you. Birdwing gambling again? Dude, I, I, I think it's so funny how Birdwing is just, just like, it's like, it's like going to the casino. Just gift them, you'll pay me when the time is convenient for both of us. I, I, I just gift them to you. I trust Pew. I know Pew's good for the money. I, I trust Pew very, very, very much. That reminds me, I want to go to Sophia real quick because... I know that we're getting close to Vulture, and I would like to save Vulture for next time. So I want to go to Sophia for a second and check out my co assignment board. Birdwing is the casino chip, and I am the dealer. I love dealing me out some Birdwings. I don't know why I'm trying to sell these other items. I honestly don't know why. These are not selling. I don't know why I farmed these the other nights. 
Like, someone convinced me to go farm these, and honestly, it's just... I, I don't think they're selling at the right price. And honestly, I don't know why I'm selling Coarse Beast for honestly. I need to just... I need to give up on that front. Like, I just need to process these out to materials. It's like, I don't want to wait forever on them. Like, I want to look up energy bottles real quick. Because I swear energy ball. I feel like energy bottles is not set to the right price. Yeah, yeah I am I am overselling it. Because we got 22 slot adventures garbs for some reason. Man, Andy, you're looking... I, listen, bro, I can't save you if you're in the alleyways at El Scaro late at night, buddy. I, I, I can't save you. I, I mean, those, those them some big words you shine over there. <laughs> <laughs> Every blacksmith are hoping to cash out with two slot adventures garb. It's like, do you have 2,000 tickets? Nah, but you ain't getting off the top shelf. You can have this pretty little one slot, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. Alright, I want to fix my co assignment board for a second. I need to unregister this. This needs to get off my board right now. How many of these did I have on here? I feel like I only had one. What the? Two? Three? I swear I just unregistered a few of them. Alright, so we are going to... I want to sell it at 44000 just to undercut a little. I just want to make sure they sell, so I'm just going to undercut it a little bit. Let's go, say, like, 45000 yeah, yeah, I, I don't mind selling them for like 4,000 less. It's fine. Two slot adventure garbs are rare. Honestly, I would, why not just like, why not just like, uh, why not just farm them yourself? It's like they're super easy to get, then process them all instead of just uh, buying them. Or is it, or is it quicker to just buy them outright? Honestly, I, I don't know. Do you check out your land later on? You've been working on it for a while, still incomplete though. All right, we can go check out your land real quick. We can go check it out, Pew. I'm not against it. We can do that real quick. Let me just finish setting this stuff up on the board. What did I say? 45,000? I think I said 45,000. Yeah. All right, register. I don't like selling this right here. This, this needs to go somewhere else. <clears throat> also, it's like, I feel like I feel like the best way to explain two slot adventure garb uh, blacksmithing is basically Hikari from Juju from Jujutsu Kaisen, where he's just like trying to constantly roll his jackpot ability. Like that's that's basically blacksmithing in a nutshell in my head, and you can't tell me otherwise. I I firmly believe this now. <laughs> All right, let's go to Pew Pew's land. All right, let's go to Friendland. Pew pew. I haven't gone. I, mean, I always forget I can go to y'all's lands and stuff. Let's see. Pew 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 pew. Hey, can I eat your food? Hey, pew. Can I have the leftovers in the fridge? I, I won't eat too much of it. I just I just need a little nibble. I just want a bite. I buy I buy you lunch next time. <laughs> Uh, currently, you have crafted over 35k. I am the bone of my two slot. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is pretty good. I like this. I like the front door. I like the gates. That's a nice touch. I also like the rose petal. Ooh, a little pavilion. It's kind of like almost like you like spawn here almost. And it's like, ooh, is this like a giant snow globe? What is this? It's over here. I like the windows. The stained glass is really nice. Hey, Pew, did you watch the latest live stream where someone built a town for their house? Did you see that? All right, I'm liking the inside. I'm liking the flooring. Oh my gosh, it, it, it's literally just like a church. I like this. But the question is, is how do I get to the kitchen? Are you gonna be a, kind of a celebrity amongst the enemies? What do you mean? What do you mean an enemy amongst the celebrity? Like, what do you mean? Alright, I'm grabbing it. 
<laughs> ah, yeah, let's go. I'm gonna eat that. Mmm, white stew. Yum. Agro minus? Agro plus. You know what? I could definitely do with some more aggro. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah probably be for a wedding venue oh is that true Pew? are you gonna do like a wedding venue is that what this is for is this so you can host weddings are you like trying to earn money to like in the summertime the background music and your mischievous <laughs> goes hand in hand I mean, I'll literally show you what I'm listening to. I'm literally just listening to the entirety of the RuneScape soundtrack. And I'm probably going to do this for every, like, for most Torm live streams. I am, I am public enemy number one amongst the bosses, honestly. I really am, but honestly. Also, if I did my daily Potem darts. Hold on, let's check our, let's check and see if we've done Potem darts. By the way, I won a book the other day. Yeah. Wait, I wonder... I haven't been to my house in a long time. I wonder if it's even there. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good avatar chest. Nice. Let's see, free darts. Alright, guys. Time to play Pokemon Dots. We get three shots, three darts. No takey backsies, and you can only get one prize. Let's go. Let me use my special, my special ability where I aim at the center of the target while it spins really fast. Because it actually catches up more speed the longer it spins, and then I just aim like right here, I go like this. Believe it or not, this is a really good way to like up your chances a little bit. At least in my head, that's how I view it. I want the Spina, I want the prize, give me the prize, not the Spina. No, I don't want Spina, give me that gem. Come on, come on, give me the gem, please. You know you want to give me the gem. You know you want to give me the gem. I don't want money. I want I want the sparkly thing. I'm a crystal wizard. It's in my nature to get the gem. So you want to give it to me. Doink. Dang it! Man, I hate it when like it, when it's like weighted like this, where it's like there's no good rewards in the prize pool. I hate it. I hate it when they do this. All these years of playing one reset book from darts only twice. If I got a reset book of darts, I might honestly scream. <laughs> I might actually like lose my crap. Also, I've been collecting. I have three adventures diaries. I have been collecting. Yeah. I have been doing my best to be proactive in getting the codes from the live streams. Except for the other day where they streamed at 12 a.m. I was I was a little mad. I was I was actually a little mad. Alright, let's go to the house. Oh man, it snowed here. Oh wow. Okay, look at my my humble outside. My humble abode. Truly where the most mischievous of wizards live. Uh, you have a halberd piercer? You want to buy it? Wait, do I have that? Hold on, let me check. You about to give me something mischievous? Hi, hi, Pew. Come here. Come to my house, Pew. Come to my house. Alright, what do you want to... What was that item you said that you wanted? What was it called? Alright, so he says I have a piercer that he wants. Where is the piercer? Yeah, I have, a, I have one piercer for Albert. <clears throat> My home hasn't changed a lot. Should I just do like a Toram, like, uh, redecorating day one day? What if I do a live stream where we just de where we just decorate the house? Or we just go around, unlock, uh, furniture and, like, make it more homey? <laughs> Maybe we make it more like a library, like a public library or something? Then maybe, maybe I should try to get GM Sara to look at it and be like, Behold, GM Sara, my humble creation that I, I am not an interior decorator. Please don't judge me. <laughs> yeah. 
But man, that last land was insane. Someone built a freaking town in their house. That was kind of crazy. Caught the house screen? Yeah, caught the house screen. <laughs> oh man, I, I think we've only ever had like two house parties in my house. And I believe we all took a photo right over here. Which, by the way, I still have that photo. I, I always keep all my Toron photos in like one folder. So I still have the group photo where we all like came here and we posed like right here with the books as the backdrop. Yeah, so we get some real estate. <laughs> they actually half built a town with roads, but it was painful. So he deleted everything and made a wedding venue instead. Wedding venues are still cool. <clears throat> Plus, you can charge people for using it. I think that'd be so funny. Imagine being able to just invade your land, but instead they pay. <laughs> you still have the sus pictures from when we were on the land. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I remember that. It was really funny, but some people took it the wrong way, so I had to address it. And I think I lost a moderator because, because like they just they they, they couldn't t they they didn't take a joke very well, and I was like, ugh. It's like, man, that was that was a, uh, I it was a fun memory, but at the same time I caught a lot of flack for it. But it's like I, nowadays it's like I wouldn't care anymore. It's like you want to do that, I don't care. <laughs> Also, so like, when do you want to buy the piercer? Let's set up negotiations. Live negotiations right now. What is, what is this piercer? What is this piercer worth to you? <laughs> it's like, honestly, I don't even know what to do with the thing. I have no idea what to do with the piercer. <laughs> I don't even really know what they're worth, honestly. You could actually, like, you could literally take advantage of me right now. You could literally tell me like a million speed. I might actually give it to you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, sadly no wedding system. Can you imagine marrying someone in Torah and she takes half your Spina? Come on, listen. Do we really want that in Torah? Do you really want someone to be able to marry you and then take half your Spina in the divorce? Yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not down for that. If you want to know the price, go to International World of One First Channel. Check out the player sitting on Sophia. Okay. Bet. Bet. I'm going there right now. Oh no. Oh no. I'm on the 12th channel. Why am I on the 12th channel? Did I get booted? I mean, I, I was AFK before the stream, honestly, so. Holy. Ugh. Ugh. Holy! Oh my gosh! Is that a live stream going on right now? Is that a, is, is Asa Bimo playing the game right now? Holy smokes! Look at that! Max capacity! You know it would have been so bad if Petcora had actually picked this game. I'm gonna be very real with you guys. It, it is probably a blessing Petcora did not pick up this game during the Steam Summer Sale. Because she would probably crash the game, honestly. <laughs> there would be so many people on this game, it would be unplayable. Normal life in Sophia, basically a market. Hey, listen, I I'm no stranger to it. I'm I'm back from I'm from the good old Grand Exchange RuneScape days. That's the usual booming business there. It's actually the market for extraction crystal and piercers. That doesn't explain this. It's never full. I've never seen it full, except for when it's on live streams. So how? All right, let's see if we can find someone selling one. 
All right, I, I'm really bad at reading this thing, so, oh my gosh. What am I looking for? What is, what is the uh, abbreviation here? I, I'm looking for piercer. Piercer. Someone's buying summer shells in bulk. Try it again and again, you'll find a way to get in. <clears throat> yeah, okay, all right, all right, let's get rid of the party. Disband the party, I'm a lone wolf again. I don't need no party. All right, let's see, Swatch Channel. Man. All right, all right, proceed to butt mash. Man. Third time's the charm, baby. Let's go. Bang. <laughs> Probably some JP folk wants a wants a piercer. They all come to end one. And imagine the odds. Like honestly, like actually imagine the odds. We're all talking about piercers, and then everyone just crowds the server to go buy piercers. Like what are the odds? <laughs> oh gosh, man! I wish, I wish the Grand Exchange was like half of what it used to be. I wonder if I could like find a video show you guys like just how cramped it could get. Oh, this guy, this person's selling a piercer, or I guess is trying to buy or sell a piercer. Let me see. Can I see it in the shout thing anywhere? I'll be honest. I don't understand the abbreviation, so like this looks like scribble to me. <laughs> uh, B wing gift. Someone's buying through gifting. That sounds like a scam. That literally sounds like a scam. Mind checking your mailbox? I don't mind. I'll check it out. What's in my mailbox? Yoink! From Andy Edison. Adventures Garb One. All right, what is this? I'm a little scared to look at this. Hold on, where where's the gear? Sir, why did why? Hold on, wait, hey, 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 now, hold on, hold, hold on, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, li li listen, listen, sir, hold on. What, what, wait, what, what is, what is, what, do, what, what is this for? Do you need this back? Let me send this back. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> uh, those peer, those people are trying to buy piercers? Okay, I got you. Okay, what, well, what was the point of that, Andy? Is this like a, it's a gift? Are, are we, are we sure about this? <laughs> Are you sure? That's a two slot. That's worth a lot of money, is he not? <laughs> Hold on. That'll easily go on for about six uh, minutes or more. Ah. You can always craft more. No, that's like that's like two thousand bird wings. You're only gonna get like what one or two out of like a thousand or two thousand bird wings. Why would you do, why would you do this to yourself? This is like your hard-earned time and money. It's like I'm okay. I can I can just sell you some bird wings. <clears throat> Not six minutes, it's six million. Ah, uh, oh. Wait, six million. I sell it to you for four. I sell it to you for four. Since you've helped me so much, Pew, I'll I'll sell it to you for for. I will knock off two million. I'll sell it to you for four. How about that? I'll give you a two million. I'll give you a two million discount. <laughs> Stacks of bird wings. Oh man, I really need to process out all this. Deal? Heck yeah! Wait, can I just gift it to you and you can just and you can just like send it to me later? Hold on. How do I? I, mean, I gotta remember like how to. Can I? Am I able to gift it to you? Is he? It's basically a chicken farm. That's what it feels like. You just crank the bird wings through the through the murderous conveyor belt, and you print money with their feathers. Either that, or you craft with them. That's what you do. <laughs> Let's see. Send gift to friend. Or... 
pay you back if you return home from exam? I bet. Bet. Pew pew. Attached gift. Alright, how do I... How do I select it? How do I... Select it... Nope. Can't. How do you... Can you not gift these? How my brain is on <laughs> Yes, no, it, you, you really did leave me speechless, buddy. Like, Andy, like, seriously. Like, like I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I was so left field, I actually did not expect you to, like, send me a two slot. Selling him a gift he just received, and that's how to discount the back from music suits it perfectly. <laughs> I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not gonna. Li, li, hold, hold on, hold on. Li, listen, I'm not. I'm not gonna sell it. Uh, uh, I'll save it for my next character. See, I'm locking it. I locked it. I'm gonna use it. He gave it to me. I'm not gonna sell it. Okay. I I wouldn't do that to Andy. I'm gonna actually use it. Just like how I, just like how I collect all the hand-me-down staffs y'all give me. <laughs> I'll, I'll use this. Okay. All right. So I'm thinking of starting a katana main at some point, maybe. I, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> oh, you know, a cat is just a liquid. State your argument for the class, sir. You're, you're, you say in your thesis that you think a cat is a liquid. Please, uh, please present your thesis to the front of the class. Um, and we will, and then we will, uh, we will sign a grade at the end. Uh, good old MMO market. Honestly, MMO markets are like a special place. I, I, I think MMO markets can actually be used to like study economics. I, I think it can actually be used to study inflation and economics. Honestly. <laughs> because like... Like, the markets go up and down so much, it's literally like a stock market, honestly. It actually happens? I bet! I bet, I bet professors sometimes log into MMOs just to experience it. <laughs> like, I'm willing to bet, like, honestly. Easy. Cat can fit into anything. I know Corey did not just hit me with the... Hold on, hold on, Corey. You did not just hit me with the good old cats can fit to anything, therefore they're a liquid argument. No, no, he did not. I haven't heard that in like six months. Dang it. Corey actually got me. Man. <laughs> no, 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 I don't need any more. No, please. And Andy, Andy, let's think about this. Andy, we need to think about this, okay? We need to think about this, all right? Don't, don't, don't throw away your hard-earned profits, all right? <laughs> don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> like, oh my gosh! <laughs> like my goodness! You know, at this point, you're not sure if you're an adventure blacksmith or merchant. I mean, think of it like this, out there. You're you're like that you're like that one guy from is in another world with my smartphone, um, uh, death march to the parallel world, um, like you're you're like that guy, like and you're like uh like Hatsumi from um, what is it called? Like like I can think of a lot of isekais where adventurers turn into blacksmith, crafters, or merchants. And honestly, I, I think that just adds to the whole adventurer's vibe, honestly. Have a wonderful day, Pew. I hope that you ace your exam. Seriously, I I am I am wishing with every fiber of my being. Like you're gonna do it, alright? You're gonna do great. And and we'll sell the piercer later, alright? Alright. <laughs> 
Yes, no, I will sell it to you on a discount because I, I look like you. Listen, you've helped me out so much over the past year. Like, seriously, is the Abbott uh, Darby gave uh, the first two slot armor? Uh, is it my first two slot armor? No, I have I have two slot armors. I have hand-me-down equipment. Like, I have equipment people wanted to get rid of. So, like, this, uh, I have this as a two-slot. Actually, this is my second two-slot. So, like, I've been using this one. I have Gopherga and Altadar slotted into this one that I use for my Magic Warrior. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember what these, uh, stats do. But, um, I used to use this Bark Mail with Yield Cat. And this Bark Mail with Iron Empress. And Bark Mail with Iron Empress. Uh, evasion equipment. I used to use this a lot back in the day when I first started playing the game. But no, this is my second two slot. Yeah. You know most of those anime weeds. <laughs> so hey, listen, you just have good taste. Alright, but man, I'm not gonna lie guys, it's getting pretty late for me. It's already 10 o'clock and I'm also starting to kind of lose my voice. So I'd like to be able to preserve it for tomorrow. Uh, next week we'll come back with some more Torem uh, next Wednesday probably. I'm starting to uh, adopt a more of a four day schedule where I stream towards the end of the week which allows me to work on things at the beginning of the week when I get home from work as a way to unwind. Um, I'm, so I'm going to be working on some videos uh, tomorrow so I hope you guys look forward to it especially if you like reading books or if you like playing survival games. Out of brain juice most definitely I'm actually out of brain juice so I really want to go lay down for a little bit. Also, thank you, Crawl, for coming by. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your night. I will see you all next time. Bye! Where's my button? There's my button.